Oh god, I'm here. I'm here. Ah. Oh god. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, the camera's not on though. Oh Jesus. There we go. Sorry. We have a storm. Oh my god. That was that was way late. Way late, you guys. Holy cow. Way late today. Sorry. Had a we have a storm coming in, so I had to make sure Charlie went out and peed because as a dog, she is too good to pee out in the rain. So, got to make sure she goes out and pees early before the storm comes out. <laughs> Babel Bob says, perfect game for Jason. He has to suck to survive. Suck oxygen. Dude, Babel Bob. No, no, no. Even better than that. Let me let me show you this. Um, Let me put in here. Let me uh, add in an image. Sure. And then we're going to choose this one guys i don't know if there's a, a video game antagonist that looks more like me look at that i mean i don't have a goatee i have a kind of full beard but if i were to shave you know it would just give myself a goatee and slap on a uh, diver suit that is me 100 <laughs> percent. i will take it i will take that so yeah that is dave it should be diver jason but you know, Dave and Dive, the kind of the alliteration there. You have to go with Dave for the name. You got to. <laughs> uh, I have to say that Dave really looks like you on the thumb. Dude, yes. When we get into the game, you'll know. This game is perfect. I was so interested in it because it looked really fun. And then when I got into it, I was like, because I played about 10 minutes of it this morning just to kind of make sure it runs really well and I can capture it this game guys i'm really in love with this game it's very it's not like an insanely difficult game or anything like that it's more of like a i don't even want to say mindless it's more of like a meditation game of you can go do stuff a busy game whatever you want to call it not hard just really really awesome fun echo where's the echo at you're talking about me i shouldn't be echoing uh cosplay ideas dude uncle groon if i'm gonna cosplay i would be diver dave or dave the diver dot dave the diver uh jason and everyone else hello james hello i saw heather silver mist in the chat you guys very very awesome seeing everyone in the chat today especially for a game that's brand new not no man's sky so i know we're gonna get less people on this but I wanted to do more of a uh, relaxed Friday. We're not going to do a speed run today. We're just going to play some Dave the Diver. Have fun with it. Chat with you guys. Um, Beeblebum says, when they make a, a juggler game, they can call it Jason the Juggler. Well, <laughs> that might be. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, there you go. Jason the Juggler. <laughs> I have a jar of mayonnaise and a dream. Ah. <laughs> uh, Hello, everyone. Guys, I want to get at ahead of it before it all, before we get too, too, uh, too deep into the game. If you guys have not heard, Zoo from Zoo Games has passed away. So, normally, what we would do is we would do a, a No Man's Sky speedrun or something like that. And then we would go and raid the community night, race, uh, Ricey Starship Emporium, and Zoo would have a community night on Friday. That's not happening this week. Zoo did pass away uh, earlier in the week. So uh, as far as I know, Ricey is not streaming today. So there's not going to be a community night today. So I just want to make sure everyone, if you have not heard the news, I, it came out. We, we found out yesterday. I think he, I think uh, Zoo passed away, uh, you know, earlier in the week, but we found out yesterday. And so just let everyone uh, know ahead of time. There's not going to be a community a community night tonight. I have a feeling it will be going on, you know, in the future. But we're, you know, Ricey is taking this week off. They're not doing a community night as far as I know. So that would be the reason why it's not happening. Wow, he was so young. And dude, JC, yeah, he was so young. It was unexpected. It wasn't like there was no illness involved or anything like that. No deep, you know, no public details. His family's keeping it to themselves and that's fine you know that's their thing so they just want to they need some time to handle it and deal with it and get all that stuff situated so but it was, as far as everyone knows it wasn't expected it wasn't like he had something going on medically that 
you know, eventually, you know, did it. It was unexpected. No one thought it was going to happen. It was, uh, a, for lack of a better term, a freak thing that just happened. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. But I wanted to make sure, if you guys have not heard, I'm sure most of you already knew or at least saw something about it. If you're following anybody on Twitter, uh, Ricey put out a video. Captain Steve also put out a video. I link to their videos as well on my Discord, but you can check out their uh, their channels as well if you want some more info or see what their feelings are, all that kind of stuff for Ricey and Captain Steve. Uh, Zoo Games from the internet, that always made me laugh. The man is uh, sad. Man, that is sad. Yeah, it is sad. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, no stream tonight. Yes, no stream tonight. So it's, you know, that, that's what's going to happen, but... It's okay. You know, more info coming soon. Exactly. That's from Ricey in the uh, the live chat. So that's what the plan is. We're going to raid somebody. I know right now, I think Delta is still streaming. If you want to go chat about it, and do, I mean, you, we can chat here as well. I'm not saying you can't. But Delta is doing a stream right now. Let me get, uh, I'll get a link in there. Delta One is doing a remembering... Uh, remembering zoo stream right now so if you guys want to go over there and chat with delta in his chat more than welcome to i think you should if you want to or we could also talk about it here that's what this this uh stream is going to be kind of a a chilled and relaxed stream it's a new game we're not going to be doing any racing or any kind of like uh competition with it we're just gonna be playing a game relaxing and talking and chatting so if you need to if you want to Let me, uh, sorry, I can't type and speak at the same time. Sorry, guys. XXIOU. I will link it here in the live chat for you. That way you guys could go over there if you want to chat with Delta in his chat as well. Do it. Do it. Seriously, do it. We're just going to be hanging out, playing some uh, Dave the Diver and chatting about everything. Killing fish. Oh, boy. Dude. Sushi and... Uh, dive. <laughs> This game, I'm serious. It was made for me. If I, if I could retire, the two options I would do. My first option, I would love to own some land in Ireland. And I would have sheep and I would just be a sheep shearer guy. I would have a big old field of sheep. I would shear them and just relax. That's what I would do. I would take care of my sheep. I'd have like a, a castle or whatever. I would just have a whole bunch of land in Ireland. That way it's all green and lush and have some sheep with me second retirement would be this go to hawaii or some you know some island somewhere go to a restaurant and say hey look if you need any fish i'll go out and dive i'll catch fish or whatever i'll take my boat out i'll catch fish all day bring it in and you guys can uh, use it for your sushi or whatever you're making that's fine and i would love doing that just fishing all day out in the sun i would take that that would be awesome maybe it's a uh, an old man thing i guess you know, I want to either, you know, be alone and shear sheep or go fishing. <laughs> That's my, my idea of a good retirement. Oh, anyway, uh, Beast Amania or Beast Anima, Beast Anima says, Hey, Jason, nice to see you. Want to say one thing. What did you say? Beast Anima? I don't even see it. Oh, no, your chat stopped. Uh, but yeah, that's what I would do. So this is a perfect game. Let me jump in here and show you guys the uh dave the diver so let's get in here there we go old man you're like 20. <laughs> awesome one i am a little older than that <laughs> sheer sheep uh we know what the old men do with sheep what i do with uh sheep what the heck jc gross uh people bump says jason's dream Dr dive for anchovies have a pizza plate no gross somewhere near a pineapple grove I mean, pineapple pizza probably happens in Hawaii. I, I mean, I don't see it being very often because pineapple uh, Hawaiian people are very sane. They don't eat pineapple pizza. <laughs> but teriyaki, sure. All right. Oh, my God. Streamlabs, I forgot to turn you off, Streamlabs. So Streamlabs is telling you guys about the... Uh, about the speed run we're gonna i forgot i totally forgot to do that let me get in here and change up our stream labs real fast that way the command is not popping up every five seconds all right um 
Speed run. Turn that off. You're awesome. There we go. There we go. Okay, I turned that all off. Good, good, good. And reset CloudBot. Turn them off. Turn them back on. Because Lord knows, Streamlabs is kind of slow on stuff. Anyway, this is Dave the Diver. There we go. Uh, Heather says, uh, Jason says he's older than I am, and I'm 60. Awesome. What, well, dude? Maybe a little bit older. A little bit older than you, Heather. You guys can't tell from my hair. My hair is going away. I'm, a, I'm an old man at this point. I have no hair. I, I, I have hair, but you know, it's going away. It's leaving me. <laughs> uh, Jason, have you ever run Subnautica and Cap? We have done Subnautica. I've never like played from start to finish on stream. I think I finished below zero, but I have not finished Subnautica, the original Subnautica. But we have played both games. We've played both of them. I just, you know, never finished. I don't think I ever finished the first one on stream. I definitely don't haven't finished it in real life, like on my own. I am 62, going to be 30. Uh, th <laughs> I'm going to be 63 in December. Old Explorer. Nice. There you go. Our birthdays are really, really close. Uh, Spade says I'm 41 going on 80. Dude, Spades. I did a lot of physical labor jobs when I was younger, so I feel you. My body. You get you get the the aches and pains like oh my right knee doesn't feel as good as it used to because i'm i i, I favor my right side and so i probably used my right you know leg a lot more and so now it's actually starting to hurt all right so we're gonna start a brand new game let me see can i load oh you only can have one at a time huh okay well we're gonna start a brand new game you guys so this is a is an indie game. It's on Steam right now. I believe it's only on Steam and Nintendo Switch. Let me check, double check that. I think it might not be on Switch yet. It might be coming to Switch eventually. Dave the Diver Switch. It is not on. It's not on Switch yet. It is on PC right now only. Not on Xbox. Not on PlayStation yet. Not yet. Not yet. I think it's coming because it's very popular. A lot of people are playing it. A lot of people are loving this game, but it's not out yet. So coming to Switch, officially coming to Switch, probably coming to Xbox and PlayStation soon. Uh, have you tried Dredge? I have not, Mike. I heard, I've seen that one, but I've not played it yet. Uh, I am 60 and I can guarantee you that an older woman can make you feel you. <laughs> Wow! What is going on in this chat? Good lord, Heather. Good lord. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do it! No, oh, dang it. Just do it! Well, I mean, that kind of fits, but more like... That's what she said. There you go. <laughs> um, No consoles, just Steam. Yeah, Trenton, it's only on Steam right now. They have plans for the Switch version coming out this year. No consoles as of yet. So you can only get this on Steam. All right, have you tried Dredge? I have. Okay, let's get in here. Let's get in here. So we're going to go new game, and there's going to be a cinematic. I love this thing. It's so good. Overriding existing. Yeah, I know. We didn't get that far, so we're good. Oh. Here we go, you guys. She's so damn hot. <laughs> uh, all right, we got a seashell. What is this? Look at Dave out here sunbathing. Oh. Oh God, don't, no. I don't need that. <laughs> it's crabs. Sushi! Got my attention. He has his bags packed already. Beer belly of love, exactly. This guy, he's enjoying his retirement. I mean, kind of retirement. Dave the Diver. Drinking his uh, root beer. <laughs> root beer, of course. Now, Jason would be drinking Dr. Pepper. So I will be doing some Dr. Pepper.
Ah. Good afternoon, Mobile Chaos. How are you? I also got my chocolate. We are good to go, man. We're going to be doing a nice, calm, happy uh, Friday stream. Where is your scuba suit? Oh, Mobile is coming. We're, we're going over to the uh, place where we need to uh, to dive and get all our fish. Uh, Andy says, what are your thoughts on sushi? I love it. I love it. So my wife and my mother-in-law, they like the, you know, the California roll, the generic, like, just plain kind of sushi. I'm up for all of it. I eat most sushi. I mean, you get a little crazy. Like, I love the raw tuna sushi. I love all that kind of stuff. But you get a little too crazy, like the octopus, and I'm not into that kind of stuff. But I'll eat generally oh. any sushi you can put in front of me. That's good. Got to have some, uh, not wasabi. I don't eat it with wasabi because wasabi is too much for me. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. <laughs> well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. <laughs> Look at Dave. He's on vacation, but he has a scuba suit on. All right. So where's the sushi at? <laughs> ah, don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. <laughs> That's what she said. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. Wait a minute. It changes every time I go down there? I didn't notice that. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up a little bit? This is I like this guy's name is Cobra. <laughs> it's Cobra. I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. Hmm. I don't have a good feeling about this. Uh, some sushi is suspicious. <laughs> I don't know. How would you pronounce that? How would you pronounce that, Beeble? Suspicious? Suspicious? <laughs> uh, yep. That's Dave's pajamas. Yep. There was some buffering. Oh my god, there was some buffering. What is going on here, uh, Streamlabs? You're killing me. Killing me. There was some buffering. Let me look at my, uh, let me look at my stats. Oh yeah, there was some buffering. I might be changing to back to my original um, encoder, but we had behind the scenes stuff. I'm going to see if that changes anything. All right. But yeah, there was some buffering. That was on my end. That was OBS telling me there's buffering. Let's get in here. Let's go dive. Uh, the storm is making the stream choppy. Uh, yeah, that, that could also be another reason. There, there is a storm going to happen. Nice form. <laughs> All right. How about try stretching out a bit? All right. Try moving to the marked area. With uh, left trigger, you can move quickly. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. So you can move faster, but it also speeds up the uh, the fuel, basically your oxygen uh, decreasing. Here we go. Here we go. That's pretty quick. He's pretty, pretty uh, fast for a big guy. I like it. All right. Um, oh, come on. Don't mess with me here, uh, YouTube. Good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Let's now practice using the weapon you'll need to con you'll need in contingencies. The dive knife. Okay. Try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use the B key. Don't mess with me. There we go. Here we go. So we have a, a knife to defend ourselves. He's small. He is, well, he is kind of he's small in the grand scheme of things in the ocean. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Oh, come on. Oh. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first and then? Hmm. Looks like you'll need some practice. Let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with the A button and fire with the right trigger. Now, try it out yourself. So we can do this and then... Got you. Okay. 
And you have to tap A to bring him back in. But you can't, you can't really shoot that far. So we got to do this. Got him. Give me that fish. You're a duckling. Okay, Miss Diana. Okay, Diana, go to a different system and don't call freighter. What? What? I think my daughter did call it before it crashed. What are you guys talking about? Okay, I need to get back in the chat. You guys are uh, talking about... Oh, freighter stuff? How long do I have for the expedition? Two more weeks, Speeds! Two more weeks. I think that should get you back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. Oh, we gotta go back to the boat. A brutal way to fish. It's seriously, harpooning fish, that's kind of crazy. You probably lose half the meat with the harpoon. All right, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? Of course. For sure! This guy is me. For sure! That soft fish meat with oily rice? Oh man, that's just the best. Ah, well, listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he can, he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here and I started a restaurant. Here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yum, I'm already craving it! Yes. Uh, doing the weekend mission as I watch this. Nice, Andy. Very cool. Let me move my spit out of here. Uh, no Man's Sky, Jason. Freighter crashes. Switch. Oh, okay. So the freighter is crashing on the switch. Oh, God. I don't know what's been going on, but they've been really... Uh, it's been really tough on uh, the switch specifically, but consoles in general for No Man's Sky. I'm already craving it. Haha, oh. <laughs> I bet. So... Why don't you join in on the awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Yeah, well, you better get on it, Dave. Uh, nothing to worry about. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive and get the ingredients. Okay, so I'm the guy who gets all the ingredients, and then we have a chef back at the restaurant. He does all the cooking and stuff, so we're good. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Yes. I wonder... You, it says it gives you a decline. I'm not going to decline, though, because I want some dang sushi. <laughs> so I can eat as much sushi as I want? Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. <laughs> what? Come on, Cobra. Why do I have to pay if I'm providing all the fish? <laughs> maybe, get, maybe we'll get a discount. Maybe we can, we, can, we can negotiate a discount because I'm doing all the fishing, right? I can't wait to check it out. The sushi restaurant next to the blue hole. It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's go have a chat at the restaurant. Ha ha ha. There's a lot of laughing here. Uh, oh, we have to go. Over here. Hey, I bet uh, be sleep on there. Yeah, dude. Golden Gek is on soon. I guess you need some sleep. There you go. It's been a half a minute and crashes at the moment. Oh, no, Diana. Dang it. Hopefully... There's an update or a patch out soon for that, uh, Diana. Go to space station and warp to a previous oh, system and freighter isn't there, then fly to safety. There you go. That's a, that's a way to do it. Hey, Bonka or Boncho. Boncho? Bonko. Uh, are we ready to open? As you can see, it's just, it's ready just in time. Oh, it's already finished? You? Ah, you're the fisherman Cobra was talking about. This is Bonko. Bianco? Bonco? Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. <laughs> yeah, we kind of noticed that. All right. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Bonko. All right. So, you like sushi? I sure do! Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. There you go. Dave is my guy, my kind of guy. Oh, boy. Just thinking about it makes my mouth water. I'm watering just talking about it. Um, nope, won't let me do that at the moment. Uh, reset the software too. Don't, no, dang it. Bianca? Bianca? No, it's not Bianca. It's Bonko. Hmm, just as mediocre as I expected. 
we get a we can judge my sushi uh, preferences. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of the sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature itself herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer. Oh, really, Bonko? My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to every. Oh, cut off. What is this? Oh, no! We got something going on here. Dave wins. Dude, I would not mind doing this. I mean, I'm sure these jobs aren't like everywhere, but I would love to be like the fisherman for a, a sushi shop. Oh, that'd be good. An earthquake? Hmm. The interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, it looks like we have to delay the opening today. You know what? <laughs> I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? That's from Dave. <laughs> in the event, in the end, the importance of a restaurant is the taste. Well, hold on here, Cobra. The importance is the cleanliness. I don't want to go eat in a, like a dumpster. <laughs> Come on. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Mm. Only three fish? This won't be nearly enough to serve the guest. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Uh, won't that decrease sales? You think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? I mean, maybe. It is a chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision. Just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredient. Well, now we're out already. During the day. Okay, so we fish during the day and the restaurants only open at night. Okay, that makes sense. Um, uh, Ricey, uh, how are you doing, bro? Yeah, dude, Ricey, hopefully you're doing well. What a sushi snob. I know, K-Bar, seriously. Uh, Spade says, I know, I lost it when the, uh, Katina passed, dude. Yeah. I know, it just, it's... I don't, I didn't want to say it, but man, it's been, uh... It's been a, it's been a heck of a ride for the No Man's Sky community. Dave's... <laughs> no, no, he's not awesome. But, I mean, as long as I get some free sushi out of it, I'll be okay. Come on, free sushi. It seems Bonko is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> I haven't seen Bonko so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. The incident? Oops, maybe I should not have brought it up. <laughs> well, anyway, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish. So we need to go catch seven fish. Let's go down here and get some fish. Like and bye. Oh, Connor. Hopefully. I mean, if you're busy, you're busy. But man, you can hang out and we can play some, uh, hang out and play some Dave the Diver. If you know you're interested. I like it. I think this game is pretty awesome. So we have to get some fish. We gotta get seven fish. No. Let's see. Are there better fish deeper down, maybe? Gotta, gotta think maybe. They probably is, all right? Or there's wood. What is this? Wood. Oh, it hurts. I don't think sea urchins can be picked up with these gloves. Oh, I'm gonna have to upgrade my gloves. Copper. Oh God, get out of there. Here we go. We got some copper. I'm guessing we're gonna have to upgrade our equipment. Catch them by spearing the crap out of them. Exactly, Wado. So I'm thinking maybe if we go down a little deeper, we'll uh, get better fish. I'm guessing. Escape pod. Use the escape pod to escape your boat as quickly as possible. Check your surroundings first as the calling process takes some time. Oh, okay. Well, we're not going to worry about that. Let's open up this chest. What is this? Um, Sleepy toy hammer. A rubber toy hammer, it doesn't do much damage, but it will sometimes put fish to sleep. 
Okay. You gotta sleep with the fishes. I want this angelfish. I mean, angelfish. No, dude. Oh, he's bleeding. You gotta get him now. Oh, God. Woo, long fish. I thought that was an angel. Maybe not. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was an angel fish. Oh, there's these big blue ones. Yeah, it looks like the, the larger fish, they take a little while to get in here. But we got him. Here we go. Oh, come on. I like how they bleed a little bit. <laughs> that way you know you're messing up. Oh, get him, get him, get him! Got him. Hello, Saz. Hi, Saz. Uh, we live in Guam, and one day my brother was walking on the reef, even in swim shoes, and the sea urchin spines went right through his foot. Oh, my God. That is nope. I don't want any part of that. I do not want sea urchins to go through my foot. Oh, I can't get that. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to leave that thing alone. That looks dangerous. Oh, I think we're going too deep. Uh, I got a baseball bat. I'm going to beat fish with a bat. Oh, good Lord. Oh, I got a clownfish. <laughs> Little Nemo, uh, his uh, dad is gone. Yeah, see, I, I wonder if you could upgrade your harpoon. That way it doesn't take double shots to get these fish. Woo! All right, we got some blues. We got some angel fish or angel looking fish. Got some clownfish. Uh, yeah, that is a clownfish. Okay. Let's get another blue. Oh, oh look at this spiky one down here. Me or you? Got him. Come here, buddy. Oh, red lionfish. Okay. Up, oh, I'm. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't pick up my. Oh, I can only pick up one? It could. Oh, jeez. I'm about to die. Go, 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 Jason. Swim. Float! Go, 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 go! Don't die! Don't die on your first outing! Did I not go? Return to the boat. Okay, good. Woo! Cute pixel art uh, game. Dude, Saz, it's really, really fun, too. I love it. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll be making boatloads of money in no time. <laughs> uh, uncle uh, says Jason's trying to die in a no in another game. No. Aww. My, my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? All right, let's go back. Give all the ingredients back to the, uh, to the uh, chef. Okay, what is this? Time, four minutes down there is best. Okay, so... They basically give you a leaderboard of things you can do. Long fin bat batfish? Okay, it's a batfish. Not an angelfish, a batfish. So I got a whole bunch of look at all that stuff. Okay, I like it. Long fish. Level one is ten. It's worth ten. That's worth nine. Clownfish, because they're smaller, I'm guessing. They're only worth two. And then redfish. Okay. New content. We got an escape pod. Grab up your day and get things ready at the sushi. Okay. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning and once in the... Okay, so we can only dive twice. In the morning and in the afternoon. And then we have to go back to the restaurant in the evening. Get the ingredients ready before the dinner hour starts. All right, let's go. Delta. It was a Delta right, dude. Thank you so much for the raid, Delta. I was telling everyone to go over to your uh, chat because uh, you were doing a, uh, a zoo stream today. But thank you, 072 Delta. Very much appreciated, man.
Very much appreciated. Uh, Lionfisher poison, old explorer. Hopefully not. Well, we have a good we have a good chef. He'll be able to cut up the lionfish no problem. How are the preparations coming along, Bonko? Hmm, I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Okay. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? Yeah, I I, I, cook. I got all the fish, right? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today on. Wait a minute. I'm supposed to be the cook or the, the catcher guy. I'm supposed to be catching fish. What? I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be somebody to help with the ingredients and serve. Okay, what am I doing here? He said all I needed to do was cook. Oh, Cobra! Cobra's screwing everyone over. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I've never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. Okay, so now we have to cook as well. Or we're not cooking. I guess he's cooking. We're serving the sushi as well as catching it. Uh, yes. Oh, seven to all the raiders. Seriously, Delta. Very much appreciated, man. Do, do, do. Four sleep flavor. Wado. No, I'm getting sushi out of it. What? Open the ingredients below. Okay, so we need to open the ingredients. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and all the other materials you have. For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. So these are all the uh, all the ingredients I have. I just have fish because I just caught fish. All right, now I'll show you how to register actual items in the menu. Okay. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. Okay, so we have to put up a menu. There is a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. Okay. So we have... Red lion fish. And we have the red tooth tr trigger fish. Uh, we're doing nine. Yeah, of course we're doing all of them. All right. That probably wasn't that hard. Setting ingredients to auto supply will eat, will make things e a bit more convenient. Let me repeat. Only, only food items on the menu can be sold. So we can only sell things on the menu. If you run out of the ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now, use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. All right, so we're, we have to make our menu. I, I assume we're going to have to make a menu every night, right? Of everything we bought that day or everything we caught that day. Um, 13 for the C Goldie Sushi. Um, yeah. Red Lion. There we go. Our more rare stuff. Oh, you need to have bronze or higher, I guess. What the heck? Welcome, Raider Sazzle. Thank you. Hello, Delta. Where's Delta at? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I had to wear a mask on a Delta One stream. LOL. <laughs> Ew. We guys farting over there? Gonna go record something. Do it, Spades. Do it. Gotta get everything done for the weekend. Uh, there we go. Yep. Just seeing everything in there. It looks like we're doing good. Okay, so once we... Unlock more stuff. We can put more things on the menu. But right now, we only have four. Can I add? Can I swap it out? All right. I think that's it. Oh, boy. How long are you going to stand there talking? Okay, Cobra, calm down. Oh. Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Speaking of thirst. Upgrade Dave's sushi plate. Oh, I should. I need to. Oh, hmm. Have you perhaps poured green tea before? <laughs> Is there a, an art to pouring it? Maybe I don't know. But I always just pour it. I don't know if there's a technique to, I need to use. Ooh. No, only soft drinks, I think. He's only poured sodas before. I will tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Let's so walk over to Cobra. Um, here we go. 
pour the right amount. Sometimes customers will order drinks. Use the right stick to pour green tea just the right amount. Perfect! It's almost like I've done that before. Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. Okay. So, the trick is you only get one chance to pour. Once you stop pouring, it stops there. So, you want to hold the stick down, but if you overflow, it ruins it. Or, if you don't hold it down for long enough, they won't get enough green tea. So, you got to hold it down for the perfect amount of time and then let go. Uh, Crimson says, Jason, don't forget to collect nanites for the upgrades. I do. I need to do that. Got to get some upgrades going. Wow, as expected, Bianco's tea, uh, Bonko's tea, uh, green tea is quite something. That tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? All right, wait, wait until he's done cooking. So you'll see over there, the cook is cooking. I have to go get the plate and then bring it back over here to Cobra or the, the guest whenever they order their sushi. Come over to where I am and take this food. All right. You can dash when serving food. Use the left trigger to move quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. Dave is not very fast. That's okay, though. Not all of us are, Dave. That's okay. Hello? You sent the package last week, you say? What in the world? Let me check on that. All right. Cobra didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw it. We'll have to throw it out! What the? No. It seems like such a waste to throw it away. Anko Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. I, I'm not, I'm not saying you have to put it on the table twice. I'm just saying, Dave can go back to the, go back to the uh, back room and he'll eat some sushi. If I am allowed to eat all the sushi that's denied, I'm okay with that. I'll eat that. Oh no, it's gonna be a bar server game. Awesome one. Maybe, maybe. Well, all right. I have to throw it away. I should just eat it. Dave, you should have just ate it. It looked really good. Everything looks about ready. Hmm, I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Now you get nervous? Come on, Bonko. Don't forget to press Y after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes on to the menu before the sushi bar opens. Let's do my ingredients. I don't have anything. Yeah, I don't have any. Yeah, see, I don't have any seasonings or anything else. I probably could buy that later on. All right, let's open up the bar. I feel all those games. Oh, awesome. I think we'll be okay. I don't think it'll be too difficult. Let's open it up. Now we have people coming in. Hello, welcome to my bar. Okay, here's some green tea. Good, good enough, okay. Perfect, thank you. Gotta put that away. Here you go. Here's your sushi. Beautiful. All the way down here. Oh no, they're leaving trash. What the? You couldn't put your dishes away? Thank you for leaving a mess for me. Come on. Let's see, this should be better now. That storm, everything just stopped for a second there, you guys. Tried refreshing as well. Yeah, it just, yeah, let's read the room for free drinks for all culinary zest. Hopefully you guys are up again. Back for me now. Okay, good. Everyone, you might need to reload the page. Storm is killing my internet, you guys. I'm gonna need to get a new internet provider. I'm just saying. Freaking A, man. Holy cow. All right. We're going to try it again. There is a storm happening outside, so storm might be killing the stream. <laughs> 
All right, we're back. We're back. We're good. We're back. All right. So we just did our first night. We did okay. We got a five, a five star rating because we didn't mess up anything, thankfully. Basically, it's just going back and forth, going to the chef, getting the food, dropping the food off at a specific person, whoever ordered that sushi, and then cleaning up at random because some people leave their trash because they're dirty. If you don't see Jason live, try refreshing. Exactly, yes. Thank you, Heather. You're very awesome. In Bender's voice, I'm back, baby. <laughs> we have Ritter IP, a uh, farm company, dude. Awesome. Are you in Colorado? Because uh, I need a new one from Colorado. I'm in. I'm on the outskirts of Colorado Springs, and so there's very limited number of uh, providers out here. Quick, get those storm crystals. I know, Wado. Seriously. All right. Let's get out. We have our. Uh, our first night was good. Our best night so far, because it was our first one. <laughs> so let's see. Poof. Work's finally done for the day. Back, my back and legs hurt. Poor Dave running around. You were a bit clumsy. What? But not bad for a first day. I was perfect. I was perfect. Try a little harder next time. Bonko, come on. I suppose coming from you, that's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> is Jason a zombie if he's not live? I am live. I'm always live. Let me make sure. There we go. We should be live, right? You guys are making me nervous now. I just, I'm looking over here at my stats. I'm all green. I'm green across the board. It looks like I'm okay. Let's get it going here. A man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Oh, come on. Bonko is too serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Bonko Sushi. Yes. What is going on here? What is going on here? All right. PPL. What the crap? I haven't seen this part. I haven't gotten this far in the game yet. There's a gigantic squid. Yeah. Holy crap! It took the whole boat. Well, now people are dead. You're live, just a joke. Oh, okay, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I always get nervous. I'm like, oh no! Everything says I'm live over here. All right, Ellie. All right, let's. Hmm, are you the man who's been diving around here? Um, who are you? Yeah, I think so. so I was expecting more of a professional looking guy. Why you got a rag on me? Ellie, why you gotta be why you gotta be a bee? Come on. Just because I'm a little chubby, I'm in my diver suit. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for Wait a minute! You gonna insult me and then ask me for a favor, Ellie? It's not how this works. Mm. Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? <laughs> I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate after reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Ellie has a bit of an ego or a bit of a, uh, a problem here. <laughs> 420 time, everyone. There you go. 420. Oh, burnt Kraken. You need Medusa's head. Oh, there you go, Wada. We could do that. Okay, so what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of this blue hole. <laughs> Get some uh, uh, agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each, so give me two of each. Your tone makes me want to refuse. Yeah, you should, Dave. Just tell her no. Hmm, I've got a reward, but if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A reward... Oh, don't get suckered, Dave. Come on. He says a reward. Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. All right, Ellie. <laughs> Her name should be Karen. <laughs> she kind of came off like a bee. Uh, you could use your phone to access various types of content. Check your current missions and more. Game settings can be accessed from the phone. Okay. So now we have a phone. Okay, so we got a phone. Oh, that's a nice looking phone too. Dave is a pretty good phone. 
calendar. Can I make stuff? Oh my god, okay. I'm guessing we're gonna get uh we're gonna get some stuff going on here. Okay. Mayo. Uh get a 10% discount and get going. Hello, this is Manbo Air or Monbo. You just want to get away from all this summer for vacation? Well, Mambo Air is here for you. Please use the promo code below to when purchasing your ticket. Okay. Number one best diving spot. Uh, Thistlegorn. Okay. So they've just got a whole bunch of this stuff in here. Uh, Attack of the Mutant Monster. I like that. Or at least the Karen is. Jason, when do you play new update for Planet Crafter? DeMarco! I almost played it today, but I got kind of sucked into uh, uh, Dave the Diver. We will be playing that probably next week. I want to get a few more uh, speedruns in for No Man's Sky on stream, but Planet Crafter is coming. Uh, but yeah, so that's coming probably next week sometime, uh, DeMarco. Legendary says, can you play cell phone games in a game? A game within a game? It's Inception. It's Gameception. Let's see. You want to be rich? <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. My first instinct is this is spam and they're going to take all of my my uh, information. However, we're in a video game. So this is what you'd never do. Whenever you get a weird email saying you can be rich, right? Never click on the links. But I'm going to click on the link. I want to see what happens. Do you want to buy nice cars? Wear fancy clothes? Get rich is easy. Getting rich is easier than you think. Click the button below. Shh, it's a secret. Oh, shoot! Okay, nothing happened? Okay. <laughs> Did I just get a virus on my phone? Oh, crap. <laughs> I got a virus on my phone. Can I do it again? That is so good. I'm getting viruses. <laughs> Even order a pizza in-game and have it delivered. I Can you? We can call people. I can call. <laughs> I'm going to call Cobra, even though he's right next to me. Let's see. Hmm, not picking up. Okay, I guess Cobra doesn't want to talk to me. What about Bonko? What is it? Do you want to learn to cook, perhaps? No, just came to see if you needed any particular ingredients. A master chef can cook with any ingredient. I'll show you the best food possible, regardless of what you bring me. Okay. Just bring me lots of it. Okay. We have a weather app. I wonder if it if it matters what the weather is. Like, does it change the uh, fish we get? Well, we know the next few days are going to be sunny. Music. You can play the soundtrack? Guys. The only thing I don't like is that it doesn't keep playing while when you click off of it. I want it to keep playing. All right. Legendaries, we have mini games here. Oh, we don't have any games though. No games. Calculator. Okay, it works too. Album, no pictures taken. Settings, okay, that's our settings menu. Okay, okay. Sorry, I played with the with the uh, I played the with the uh, the phone a little too long there. All right. Uh, is this No Man's C? Yes, it is, Jeff. It's like Subnautica except for pixelated. Well, not really, because in Subnautica you're on your own. In this one, we're just collecting fish to make some freaking money. Can I mess with my phone underwater? It does feel like the uh, the underwater. Yeah, it does change. Okay, every time you dive, it changes every day. That's actually really cool. Orange starfish. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, we got some wood over here. Giggity. <laughs> There's a pot of something. <laughs> salt? We got salt underwater? Okay, I guess I'll take that. Okay, so you don't buy your ingredients. You have to find them? Oh, look at this big old fish. I'm gonna get you, buddy. 
Can I not? It might be too big. Oh no! Holy crap! That's a gigantic fish! Good lord! Okay, we need a uh, red star food. Whoa, look at this guy! Look at that big old fish! Got an oxygen tank. Oh, can't do a sea urchin. That'll that'll hurt me. Look at this big old guy. Are there chocolate starfish? Watto, that comes later on with the uh, the limp biscuit uh the limp biscuit area. Uh, boom. Okay, so the larger the fish, the more times you have to harpoon it. Oh my god! Whoa! Get him. Get the big one. Maybe not. This guy's not coming up. Come on. Let me let me have you. Is he too big? Yeah, see, okay, maybe not. I thought I had to had to harpoon him a lot, but he's not just he's not good. Right. He has like 5,000 holes in his body though. <laughs> I just harpooned the crap out of him. Hey, I went for that one. Uh, take the knife. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, he's just a big old fish. Look at this. This guy's, he doesn't even care. Oh, crap. If you exceed your weight limit, you will slow down. If you exceed an even higher amount, you won't be able to carry any more. Oh, jeez. So I'm too heavy. I'm too heavy. I need to get another red uh, star. Red uh, starfish. Let's look around for a red starfish. I'm about to run out of oxygen, you guys. Oh, we have a puffer fish? Oh, there's so many fish I want to get. We could cook all of this stuff. It'd be great. All right. I know. I know. I know. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, wait a minute. I have oxygen. Never mind. I got oxygen. Never mind. I forgot I had a tank. We got a underwater scooter. What? What? Oh, look. Okay. I'm feeling good about that. Oh, look at that. I love it. I got a scooter now. Uh, I, I don't want a bat. A light but handy baseball bat. It has a chance to knock out an enemy and has a powerful charged attack. Um, I, I want my knife, though. I like my knife. So we're going to keep that. Look at this. I got my cool little scooter. Oh. Oh, mother. I just ran out. It's, okay. I thought it was infinite. Crap. I thought it was infinite. Oh, Jesus. Get away from me, fish! Oh, Jesus! Oh, crap! Oh, my God, he's gonna bite me! Get away from me, fish! Oh, lionfish, get out of here. Thank you. Whew. We need a red starfish. Jesus, I'm, I am really getting messed up down here. We're overweight. I mean, we have more fish that we can hold, and we're overweight. Wait, can we use that as an ingredient, maybe? I know they said if we have too much weight, we can't even go up to the to the uh, surface. I only saw one. I only saw one red uh, red starfish. Do we have any starfish? I don't think you were going to make it, Chase. Neither did I, Heather. I didn't think I was going to make it either. I totally <laughs> thought I was going to get murdered by some big old fish. Dave the diver, this makes a change. <laughs> uh, that's a sunfish. 
They're big and stupid and aren't really bothered by being by being taken out of them. Well, yeah, obviously, dude. He didn't care. I was literally stabbing him. It didn't even matter. We need one more red starfish. I don't see any starfish. I hope we have an emergency guy down here. Or escape pod. Oh, what is this? I don't even know how to pronounce that. Kajimi? Kajime? <laughs> Kahime? Kahime? I'm not seeing any more red uh, starfish. I see those guys. So, oh, running out of air. Okay, we're going to take our emergency. We're just doing our escape pod. Come on. Oh, I like how he's reading a book on the way up, too. Uh, right, midnight? That would be what the knife is for. That's true. So we got a green hump head parrot fish. <laughs> uh, okay. So we only got, uh, oh my God. We have a whole bunch of, uh, hump head parrot fish. We got some ingredients. We got agar, kihame, and, uh, salt. All right. I feel like, I feel like we did. We had a pretty good haul. What? Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Mm. Hmm, I saw a lot of nasty fish. It won't be easy to go any deeper. Yeah. Hmm, I did notice that the fish of the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Yeah, seriously. I'm trying to get murdered by these dang fish. Perhaps something puts them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you also take a... <laughs> what? Why don't you take a gun in addition to the harpoon? What is this game? <laughs> I'm going to be shooting fish underwater. What the? I love this game. This game is too good. A gun? <laughs> I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you. We're going to have a literal arms dealer. <laughs> underwater. Shooting under what oh my god, this is amazing Yeah, we're gonna call duff the uh, arms dealer Wow cobra. It's been a while. Who is the goofy looking guy? mother? Why are you gonna make fun of Dave? <laughs> uh, who's the goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave a professional type Dave is way too polite Dave You got to stand up for yourself and say hey look mofo you can't call me that. <laughs> uh, Jason won't use it anyways. <laughs> the gun guy is hilarious. Dude, William, I love it already. This game is so freaking good. I'm loving this game. Seriously, guys. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and mu- You seem to defy my prior knowledge. Duff? I'm not liking Duff. <laughs> People who live in glass houses. There you go. Get them, Dave. Mm -hmm. So what's this about? I'd like to get straight to the point. Hello. I've begun a very interesting business. <laughs> okay, Cobra. Hello. And now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. Hello. Hmm. Season two of Strastella just ended anyways. I'll give you a listen. Hello. All right. I actually discovered a fascinating blue, giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go inside oddly any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out oh really okay i'd like you to make a weapon that can be used inside hmm that's rather interesting you've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher you could say <laughs> i love this america exactly andy underwater spear fishing is a thing jason i know but not underwater uh bullet <laughs> i mean Firing guns underwater is not a normal thing. I think you can. I think I've I've seen a Mythbusters where it's possible, but that's not a normal use case scenario. <laughs> You're not underwater shooting guns. I'm telling you that. That's not a normal thing. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision parts. Hmm. 
So we'll have to get the materials from our the sea ourselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dave, you'll have to prove yourself as a diver to this master Duff. I keep thinking of Duff beer. <laughs> I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Since it appears you have no guns at all, let's start with something easy. Oh, I think I'll need one rope and... One rope and scrap iron? <laughs> okay, we need a rope for a gun. Okay. You heard him, right, Dave? Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Always keep that in mind. Okay, so... If you run out of oxygen and you basically pass out, you can only bring back one thing. Uh, what is this game? Allie, this is a uh, game called Dave the Diver. Just came out full, fully uh, released the other day. I think it was yesterday. But man, I'm loving this. It's an indie game. It's on Steam, not on consoles yet. You can only find it on Steam on PC. But it is coming to Nintendo Switch later in the year. So I need to find rope, and I need to find iron. I also need to find one more red starfish. We're calling Duff. What is it? Kind of busy right now with research. I hear a TV in the background, though. You break it up. See you then. But goodbye, eternity. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go dive and get some more. We need a rope, iron, and one red starfish. Also fish as well. That way we can run our sushi uh, shop tonight. KJ says, I think uh, the dev is poking fun at survival games. A rope and scrap to make a gun. I know. That's why I love this. This game is very, very... Not in your face, but definitely it has some, uh, it has some references, which I love. I can appreciate. All right, we got our red starfish. So now we just need some iron and some rope. I like the fact that the world changes every time you dive. So the map is never the same. You, don't, you can't memorize it because it changes every time. I don't know if it's the same every day. Like if I start a brand new save, if it'll be the same every time, but I can appreciate that it's never the same in a row. Like on one playthrough. Up oh, there's our rope. Let's get out of here. I don't want to deal with those fish down there. Oh, there's an ingredient down there, but no. We'll leave that one alone. We need some iron. We got some wood. I got a whole bunch. I'm getting a whole bunch of wood. <laughs> Ladies. All right. Up. Oh, let's get down in here. I got some more rope. This iron. There we go. We got our iron. We're good. So now we just need some fish for tonight. That way we can sell some sushi. And there's some parrot fish. Of course we're going to get this guy. Oh, maybe not. Oh my god, I'm going to get attacked by the other fish. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Oh, you just kill those guys. Okay. But the paired fish you don't kill. It's just like you can carve them up. There we go. I want this paired fish. Come here, paired fish. Come here. Don't stop going down. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to get to him. He's, he's just, he's going too deep. I can't go that deep. What is my weight at? Oh my, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? I My weight is too high. What the crap? Will I pick up the fish that I killed? Oh crap. I thought I was just destroying the fish. Ooh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I didn't know I was actually getting them. Okay. Oh, my box is full. Okay. 
We need to escape. Get out of here. Go, go, go. Escape pod. 14 kilograms. And we're, we're maxed out at nine. Whoo, that's what she said. Wait a minute. Can't go too deep. That's what she said. <laughs> I didn't realize I was actually picking up the fish that I killed. I thought that it was uh, it was uh, just killing them. You actually brought them back? This is Ellie, of course. I guess I expected too little of you. What? All right, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised, since you helped me do my research. What are you going to give me? The sudden ecological changes in this region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number! I think she's hitting on me now. I got 70 gold. I got some olive oil and some soy sauce! Okay, now we're cooking. Soy sauce? Yes. Uh, Fade Hawk says, did you hear about Zoo's passing? Yeah, we talked about it earlier in the stream. We did. We did. So... You know, all thoughts and, uh, you know, good feelings for the family. And we're going to let them do what they need to do. We just heard, I think it just got announced yesterday. So a lot of people might not know. But yeah, Zoo from Zoo Gaming passed away earlier in the week. So yeah, we are talking about doing, I know that Delta did a, uh, a live stream for Zoo today. I know that Ricey is planning another live stream later on once everything is kind of set. And we know what, what's going on and what we can do. So we're planning one for later on in the month. So if you want to, keep your eye peel eyes peeled for that. I know Ricey is talking about doing it. Captain Steve. Some other, you know, No Man's Sky creators as well. All right. Well, to think you'd actually manage to bring it back. I expected you to quietly expire in the depths, you could say. All right. Doof or duff. Seems I have underestimated you slightly. Very well. I have a... <laughs> okay. I'll show you how to make the basic underwater rifle with these materials. First of all, download Duff's weapon shop on your phone. It's well optimized. Only 42 megabytes, you could say. <laughs> all right. Let's download weapon shop. We got it. Craft his uh, rifle. You've collected all the materials. Good. Let's try and create a new weapon. Oh, what is... <laughs> oh, oh my god! I love this game so much, you guys. Oh my god, that was way over dramatic. That's the best. Oh my god. Basic underwater rifle. <laughs> this is the this is my favorite game so far. I'm loving it this year. Equip the weapon right away? Yes, of course. So now I have my rifle, underwater rifle. Uh with a neat explanation like that, I even someone like you should have understood. Well, I guess. Oh, and one more thing. I've taken some measures to allow you to open uh, weapon chests underwater. Wow, weapon chests? You can't bring them out of the sea, but they can still come in handy, you could say. You could say! <laughs> oh, but I'll collect the info about the weapon you pick up and create blueprints for you. Okay, so when I open a weapons chest, I'll get a weapon, but I can't bring it with me. However, he'll give me a blueprint so I can make it on the surface. Sure. Weapons made with a blueprint won't break down underwater, you could say. In any case, this master will be watching you. Goodbye, eternity! <laughs> oh my god, this blows Starfield away. Legendaries, this will do until September, I'll tell you that. I'm, I'm loving this game. You can craft weapons at Duff's Weapon Shop. Acquiring a weapon, a uh, acquiring a weapon a certain number of times will complete a blueprint. Oh, so it's not just once. You have to get it multiple times underwater. Making the weapon craftable. Go hunting with powerful weapons. Weapons can be crafted multiple times. Oh, Dave, you've collected 100 gold. Yes. Great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. Okay. I really hope customers keep coming. 
That's what she said. Uh, Bonko Sushi, Dave Supporter, The Diver. Okay, I got some rewards out of there. Okay, that's Sunday. We got a whole bunch of uh, fish now. Jeez, Louise, we got a whole bunch of uh, green humphead parrot fish. Hmm. Wrap up your day and get things ready at the uh, sushi. Okay, let's go. Come to think of it, it's already been around eight years that we've known each other. I was having fun diving back near the uh, Retrolu Rock. You suddenly wanted to get your suitcase that fell off the boat. Ah, I thought I was in real trouble back then. I was working as a weapon. <laughs> Why is everyone a secret weapons dealer? And there were important blueprints in that suitcase. Luckily, you saved them before they could be ruined. I have no idea how I would have fought Hans Ledman without the blueprints. Hans Ledman? Oh, I was talking to myself. Don't mind me. Okay. Hans. <laughs> uh, made with a Nintendo uh, Power Glove. Uh, exactly, Mike. It was made with a Nintendo Power Glove. Uh, that's you, uh, Exactly. Wado, that's how you do it in real life. You have to have a Nintendo Power Glove in order to do it. No, we're not going to open uh, sushi because we need to do our menu here. Yep. You need to add it every day. You need to add stuff to the menu. All right. Five. Let's put ten in there. And then. Five of those. Oh, it looks like your fish expires every day. So I can't use my fish from yesterday. Oh, crap. Okay. I can't use my fish from the other day. I have more ingredients, though. Well, let's add... Um... Oh, wait a minute. Can I not add it to my... Wait a minute. What? Can I not add... Oh, yeah. We can add ingredients this way. Okay. I can't. Oh, wait a minute. What? I cannot add any... Can I enhance? Enhance. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my god! Okay, so if you have extra ingredients, you can enhance your uh, menu item. Okay. I need- okay, yeah, so you need extra ingredients. So, I need four more green humphead parrotfish in order to upgrade my, my current one. Okay. This is amazing. Visit Cherry. This is so freaking good. I love it. Hans from Die Hard. Mike, I'm guessing it's Hans from Die Hard, the arms dealer. <laughs> this is such a good game. Guys, number one, make sure to hit that like button. I want you guys to hit that like button. That way we can do more of this and YouTube notices it and shares it out to more people. But number two, make sure you're live. Make sure... And sometimes, especially because we had a little bit of an issue earlier, a little bit of buffering issues earlier, make sure you're live. So go down to the meet, to the uh, scrolling bar. Make sure you're live. All right. I think we're, we're I think we're good. I'm pretty sure we're good, right? So let's open the bar. Now we're open. Nobody showing up. Oh, there we go. Thank you. What do you want? You want some tea? We want some sushi. Oh, he's making some sushi for you. Sushi for you as well. Do you want some green tea? Anybody want some green tea? I got some green tea for you.
Here we go. Beautiful. Oh, she wants some green tea. Let's do this. While we're here. Perfect. Thank you. There we go. Beautiful. Way better than I expected. Because we have some good sushi here. We have some real good sushi. You want some tea? I'll get you some tea right there. Perfect again. Man, I'm good at pouring green tea. What should I try? 1.0, it's foggy now. No! It melts in the mouth. Everyone's being nice and clean this time around. They're not leaving all their trash. Busy playing the latest Planet Crafter. Nice update. Dude, Andrew, I want to get into that. I'm, we're probably going to do that next week. We're going to get into Planet Crafter because, yeah, it looks like it's pretty awesome. We got frogs in Planet Crafter, which is awesome. All right, so our second day was better than our first. Look at that. Beautiful. We got a bonus. Yeah, it looks like a fun game. Froggy, I love it. It's really fun. There's a lot of different, like, mechanics, but they're not overly complicated so it's easy to kind of follow along oh, what the heck what are you doing i'm diving here are you dave by any chance how do you hate a guy with the name dr bacon impossible dr bacon is now the favorite character in this game dr bacon are you kidding me yes what is it sir wow i'm always right about these things <laughs> All right, calm down now, Dr. Bacon. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the Sea People civilization. The Sea People civilization? Ha, I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me to tell you about them? Okay, Dr. Bacon. Uh, maybe I should not have asked. <laughs> okay, here we go. The Sea People civilizations live in legends. They are said to have... Oh my god, I can't read fast enough. They worshipped fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. They lived in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other civilizations. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's about all there is to the story. Oh, that's very quick. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. But proof that they were real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? This is an amazing find, and one that can turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found it is from a no-known civilization. It is dated to around 1,500 years ago as well. There were no civilizations in these parts back then. Hmm, that's interesting, but what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments <laughs> didn't pan out like they... <laughs> didn't pan out, and he won't be around for a good while. <laughs> that's why I'd like you to help me. Oh, really? My assistant told me the artifact was around 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. I can't go down that deep. Uh, we're busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. And I can't go down 70 meters. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. What the heck is Cobra up to? What is Cobra doing? Uh, Visit Cherry says, Jason will pour you a mean cup of green tea, Heather. Don't you worry, dude. I want some green tea now. Uh, the name is Bacon. Dr. Bacon. <laughs> exactly. Uh, awesome. I'm going to pull the trigger. That yeah, dude, it is on sale right now. So I believe it's 20. Let me look. I believe it's twenty dollars on, on uh, Steam. It is normally it is twenty dollars. This game right here, Dave the Diver. However, it is on sale until July thirteenth. So, two more weeks. You have two weeks to get it. It's on sale for eighteen. So you get two dollars off. So it is on sale if you want to go grab it on Steam. You guys, there's a link down below in the description to the the Steam page if you want it. Yeah. 
What? We don't have the time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Anko Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Mm. Uh, I suppose you have a point. <laughs> All right, I'll help. All right, Dave. Uh, isn't that lucky? Oh, of course. I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Mm. Wow, nice. Okay. Wow. With an enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. This is essential for ex exploration. Mm. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological, technological advancements are amazing. Huh? So I can... Upgrade my suit through my app. I like it. Yeah, Cobra tossed Dave under the bus. I know! Cobra's like, hey, let's just do this, guys. Come on. Oh, uh, Raimi says, only fresh fish, Jason. Only the best at Jason Sushi. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, we haven't had an opening night yet? Sushi! It's sushi! <laughs> yeah, exactly. We need some sushi. Let's first install the iDiver app on the iPhone before we proceed. Everything is an eye app. Eye diver, eye gun. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, the eye diver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment, upgrade equipment with the money you make at the sushi bar and elsewhere and explore deeper waters. Now then, let me tell you how to use the eye diver. I'll install the app for you, so unlock your phone first. All right. Eye diver. So we have all this. We need the uh, diving suit. Upgrade it for uh, down to 80 meters. Okay. Good. Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in, can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch. Okay. Thank you. Traces of the sea people. We have to go find sea people. Let's see. Let's see our weapons. I think we already have one weapon. Yeah, we already have a gun. We don't need it anymore. Let's see if we can upgrade anything else. We can upgrade our cargo box. Let's upgrade our air tank. Yes. And I think that's it. Harpoon gun? We need to upgrade our har harpoon gun, but we need a lot more money for that. All right. So we don't have very much. Let's see. Who else can we call? Dr. Bacon? What is it? Did you discover something new? Uh, that's not it. I see. Tell me if you see anything peculiar, whatever it may be. Oh, well, that's it, huh? Let's call Ellie. What is it? I'm at the library right now. Well, why are you talking so loud? Calling me so suddenly, where are your manners? <laughs> Click. <laughs> I like how Dave hung up on her. All right. Uh, nice crapple clone. Basically, this is just like uh, in Grand Theft Auto V, everything was like <laughs> a knockoff of the iPhone. It was iFruit or whatever it was. Uh, only fresh fish, Jason. Yep, exactly. There we go. I read that one already. Guys, this game, I'm loving this game. It is so much fun. It's not too difficult. It's just, you know, kind of a busy body game. And I like that. Let's go down here and see what's going on. Got to get some good fish and also see if we can find any of the uh, civilization down here. Yeah, Dave. Let's pick up some more wood. I got a whole bunch of wood. Hopefully that's going to be useful later on. Oh, we have a gun crate. Precision harpoon tip. Okay. Oh, you only have a limited amount of shots. Look at that. We only have eight shots with our gun before it's useless. A uh, shock bang stick, a stick type weapon that releases a powerful electric discharge. Oh, I dropped my knife, huh? That's okay. I'll, I'll use my my shock stick. That's fine. I'll get some more rope. There we go. Oh! And it feels like that shock stick actually lasts a while. 
Get some sushi. Get some soy sauce. I like it. Whoa, whoa. Give it to me. Come on. Oh God, what is this? That's a different, that's a different thing. Oh, I just killed him, okay. <laughs> oh my God, I'm already at 16 kilograms, are you joking? All right, well, we have to get down here and see what's going on. We have a dinosaur, what is that? Glass? What is this? We have a dinosaur? A foot bone? <laughs> Oh, uh, we are definitely going to be way over our weight limit. A uh, sharp katana? A sharp Japanese sword? They can't use the word katana, I guess? All right. Uh, melee has indefinite uses. Dude, I'm liking that. It doesn't go, it doesn't uh, go bad, which is good. Let's do this. Pink seashell, I'll take that, thank you. What is... Lead? Can I make some ammo with that? Lead ore, we also got some kelp. Can we get some squid? Dang it. I want to get some squid down here. What is going on here? What is going... Why is it... Why... Oh, I... I got shot with ink! The squid shot me with ink. Well, great. Currently have enough ammo. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Dave, I think that's the one. Come back to the boat safely. I'll be waiting. Okay. Oh, crap. What's going on here? Oh my god, that's an eyeball. What? Um, we gotta go. Dave, we gotta go, buddy. That's a gigantic squid. Like, massive squid. Um, okay. Foot bones connected to the leg bone. The leg bones. Thank you, Heather. Now I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head. What was that just now? I'll have to go back to the boat right away. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, buddy. I got you, man. What is that container? Do I, am I too full? Oh, I can't swim fast because I'm my weight. My weight's too high. I I saw an emergency like thing. So let's hopefully we can get to that. Come on. Well, we need to fire off a, a gun just to see what it's like. Whoa! Okay. That's pretty hardcore. Where's my emergency? I guess we don't have it anymore, huh? I could have sworn I saw that earlier, but nope. Oh, what is this? Oh, another gun. Enhanced tip number one. Return to the boat. There was an escape pod left side. Oh my God, I was looking on the right side. Sorry, Visa. I was looking on the right, not the left. Dr. Bacon. All right, you brought it out safely? I think so. It seems to be in very good condition, almost as if it was stored somewhere until recently. Hmm, very interesting. This may be the find of the century, even. All right, Dave, let's continue to work together and uncover the secrets of the Sea People civilization. What? I thought I'd only be helping you once. Of course! Say no more, Cobra! Okay, come on, Cobra. 
just put our restaurant at the top of the list for of affiliates. <laughs> Probably. That won't be hard to do. I have a very lucky feeling about this. Okay. Hello. I'll be in touch. Oh, Nick, it is very, it looks good. It plays really good. I love all this stuff. We just got paid 300 bucks. Nice. And we got some olive oil and some turmeric. All right. Here we go. Our depth, we went down to 73 uh, meters. Very cool. Obtained 11 items. A dusky grouper at 120 centimeters. Okay. We didn't get very much meat on that one. We need to get more meat. All right. We definitely need to get some more meat. We got some soy sauce and some kelp. Hello. Dave, while you were out at sea, the repairs were completed. Hello. Let's head to the restaurant. Oh, let's go see. The restaurant got fixed, you guys. Let's go in there. Wow, it looks very nice. It doesn't matter how delicious the food is, the restaurant can't be a mess. That's true. Ah, if you want to change the interior, the interior menu below is open, so please check it out. You can now freely change up the interior of Bonko Sushi. Okay. Ah, but as Dr. Bacon said, if the remains of the sea people are found here, customers will need income. Will indeed come, but... This area is kind of remote, so I think we need a way to advertise the store until then. Mm. Yeah, these days it's just about impossible to attract customers without publicity. Mm. Okay. I, have you tried the social media app named Cooksta? <laughs> Not Insta, it's Cooksta. Mm. You mean the social media app young people use to post pictures of the food they eat? Mm. Yeah, that's how all businesses are promoting themselves lately. Mm. I simply can't understand why people would waste their time like that. Sushi makes an impression on the heart, not photographs. Mm. Uh, even so, isn't it better to use it than to keep people ignorant of your food, Bonko? Mm. You have a point there. Yeah, exactly. People need to know about it before they can find your uh, uh, your thing. Jason, can you go first person in this game too? No, you can't, Froggy. It's in it's in third person only, you're, and you're way far out. Almost. Almost isometric. Making an account is simple, so let's try it out. You first register and make the hashtag Bonko Sushi, then done. <laughs> well, it's not as complicated as I expected. Now customers happy with your food will follow Bonko Sushi. Hmm. I'm not sure about this, but okay, I got it. I'll also include the Cooks to app on my phone and check the followers posts. Okay, so now we have we have to follow social media. Raise your rating on the Cooksta. More customers will visit and new foods will be unlocked. The unlocked conditions of new ratings can be seen in the Cooksta app. Okay. Let's go to our interior. Oriental Modern. Or we can go to Lightwood if we want to pay, uh, pay for it. Wow, okay. Wow, all this stuff costs a lot. Okay. Well, we're going to do some rad and bar chairs, of course. Oh my goodness, that reminds me. My uh, uh, brother-in-law saw my Twitch channel in one of my streams and said, I can't imagine why anyone would watch this. <laughs> Heather... You're not the only one. My mother-in-law was like, how do you make money? It's like, well, YouTube pays me. They like, she just didn't understand that you can make money by streaming video games, but you can. Doesn't mean you can make good money, but you can, it's possible to make money. There we go. We'll do that. We're gonna, we're gonna interior the crap out of all this. Bonsai. Um, yes. I hate it kicks you out every time you change something. Yeah, see, every time you, you select something, it just kicks you right back out to the menu. All right. I like that. I like that. We have our picture up there. We have a bonsai tree. I like it. So now we need to do our menu. 
Yeah, it only keeps the fish you caught. Okay, so if you skimp out on, on fish, you're just done. Wow. So yeah, I'm, I'm way, 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 way behind. <laughs> like, I have no fish. I have, like, none. Wow. Manage. Wait a minute. Enhance? Nope, we can't enhance it. Now, how do I... Ingredients. I can only sell. I can't... I can't upgrade it. I can't use it for anything. But I have a whole bunch of soy sauce. I guess that might, that might come later on. It might come later on when you have your extra ingredients like soy sauce and things like that. You can mix with other stuff. Has to be, right? Has to be. Uh, use the auto supply. It'll save you. Uh, it'll save you fish. I should probably do that. Okay, I need to do that. How do I auto supply? There we go. I can't change any of... I can't add any more, huh? Okay. That's okay. <laughs> Things are looking good. If you want to change the different style, changing... Okay, I did it. Okay. I know, visit Cherry, he's a bit of an ass, but don't tell my sister. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> uh, it's already evening. I feel stiff. Even so, Bonko's working alone. I should probably help. It's not easy to manage with two people with more customers coming in. Not enough workers. I was already at the restaurant. Why do I... What the crap? Okay, I could have gone out and... Got more more fish, but I I screwed up. I thought I was already at the bar, so I could have just fast forwarded time. I guess not. Oh god, what who is this? Yoshi? This is Banco Sushi place, huh? Hmm. Miss Yoshi. I came by because I heard this place is getting popular on Cookstuff. The name gave me pause, but I think it's really your place. New food using never before seen ingredients. Can't taste this anywhere else. A uh, taciturn but masculine chef. Okay. Wow, did they mention me too? No, not really. Hmm. <laughs> In any case, what brings you all the way here, Miss Yoshi? Oh, various reasons. I wanted to check out the restaurant. Looks like you're still the same. Well, there's nothing to change. I simply continue on day by day, training myself. My goodness, that is the problem. You refused to listen to me last time in a similar fashion, and that's what got you booted from the hotel. Oh, so she's going to be like a management kind of person. You're talking about that again. That's the customer's fault for judging the food without even trying it. Mm. How long will you continue treating customers that way? Okay, Yoshi. Mm. To keep making that terrible food. Terrible food? Food looks good. What do you mean terrible? Well roasted shark head is an excellent. Well, okay. Whole roasted shark head is probably not that good. Shark has been used in cuisine in both the West and the East. And in Korea, it was even used in ancestral <laughs> ancestral rituals. Stop! You don't. You've not changed one bit. Let me judge for myself then whether it's food fit for consumption. Maybe a critic. Then I can tell you why I came. Fine then. I'll show you. I'll make sure you know the true taste of shark head meat. No, Bonko, isn't this development a bit of a a bit sudden? Dave, as a chef, this is a fight I cannot back out of. 
My pride hangs in the balance. Please, get me a white tip reef shark head and olive oil. Do you want me to catch a white tip reef shark? Yes, with your skills, it should be easy enough to do. Guys, this is awesome. Uh, Dad's gone bad. Says, by the way, an idea for a video. What happens when you fill a No Man's Sky freighter with harvester cores? That is a good idea. I like that. Later, Delta. Yeah, see you later. Thank you for hanging out, man. And everyone hitting that like button. Thank you so very much. You guys are awesome. I see. But a harpoon's not likely to be enough. Take a good gun with you into battle. We're going to be shooting sharks underwater. Okay. Even so, fighting a shark sounds way too dangerous. What do you mean? Do you mean to say you'll just stand by and watch my while my pride is trampled? <laughs> yes, Bonko. The white tip reef shark is usually found in the ocean. Far to the right. Good luck. He suddenly wants me to get him a shark head. This is preposterous. And it can only be killed with a gun. I'll have to ask Duff to make me a gun. Or search for one in the blue hole. Well we have to we, we have to uh we have to serve tonight. Sometimes a special customer with a backstory will hear of sushi of the sushi bar and visit. Learn dishes that the customer wants through research and serve them to the customer. Okay, so wait a minute. Do we not serve her tonight? You can now research recipes. Use the artisan's flame to expand your menu. Okay, let's research. Oh. Yes. One drop of soy sauce. <laughs> We now know how to make shark head, whole roasted shark head. Time to visit Duff. I know, KJ, we got to get Duff to give us some more guns. We don't have any new recipes, okay? Is my menu good? Do I even have? No, nope. okay, we, we're good. All right, I guess we're open. We can't serve her shark head today, but we can serve other people. Let's do it. Come on. We got this. You can't have shark head. We don't have it. Perfect. Thank you. Got to get some uh, green tea going. Give me that. That boom. Beautiful. Everyone's picking up after themselves. Thank you. Nobody else wants any green tea. No green tea for you. Thank you, thank you. You don't want green tea while you wait? Come on, you know you want some green tea while you wait. I don't have any shark for you. That's closed for the night! Uh... Nice. Okay, we didn't do as well, but we did pretty well. I didn't have a lot more uh, ingredients like I did before, so dang it. Uh, Bonko is pronounced like nachos. Okay, so it's bachos? Bacho? Bacho? Okay, I'll call him bacho. Up oh, this guy again. Come on, Dr. Bacon, what do you want? Hey, Dave, I got the luckiest news. What is it, Dr. Bacon? You look too happy. <laughs> I analyzed the artifact you brought me, and a large amount of unknown substance was detected. 
I think it must be iron compressed deep underwater, but it gives off a unique wavelength. Uh, I went ahead and developed a radar to track those waves. Okay, so I can find more of those pieces. Oh, and why is that news lucky? Huh. Being coy today, are we? <laughs> this radar is bound to come in useful on your next expedition. What do you mean, my next expedition? Cobra forced me to go along last time. Isn't Cobra right there? I was given a contact with your name on it. The cancellation charge for breaking the contract is over 20. What? What in the world are you talking about? I wasn't, I didn't sign a contract. Don't be so by the book. Check the signal for me to test out the radar. All right, give it to me. I'll tell you if it works and no more. I'm already, I'm getting signed up for contracts. I didn't even sign. Come on. All right, let's grab um, new post, new post. Let's go to Cooksta. Heard shots like this are the trend now. Oh Lord, get out of here. Nice. Let's like it. We gotta like everything, guys. Good social media. You gotta like everything. That way you get more likes in there. Unless it's terrible. This is how you take a profile picture. It's hard. I am gonna like that one because it's funny, Bonk Boncho. All right. Rank up. Up. We need more. Okay. We need to. We need to complete bronze before we get to anything else. All right. <laughs> I like it. All right. Let's see our weapon shop. We have one gun already. So we're good on that. I diver. Let's do our cargo box because Lord knows we keep hitting the limit on that dang thing. And I mean, I guess we're going to do some more air. That way we can stay down for longer. All right. The Cho part, I mean. Okay, so it's Bancho. Like Banjo, except for Bancho. Bancho. <laughs> this cinematic car, uh, two red dude. I love it. It's so good. This game is so freaking good. I like this phone, too. This phone is pretty awesome. You got to say. All right. Let's go down and we have our, we have a gun. Okay. Let's go down and see if we can get a shark. And we also, we also have to follow the signals location. Always read the fine print. I know Heather, that, uh, Dave did not do that. <laughs> oh, we can't kill a dolphin. What are you doing? Okay. What's going on, dolphin? A dolphin? It seems to be asking me to follow. Should I try and follow? Yes. Let's go follow the dolphin, of course. Hey, buddy, I got you. Let's go. Oh, you're going to go deep? Okay. <laughs> That's what she said. I do need to get some more meat this time. I wasn't focused on getting the... Uh, the fish and so i didn't have a lot of uh of meat for my uh my bar oh my god i'm terrible oh no a pink dolphin is caught in the net so it's asking me to rescue its friend? I should cut that net. Yes, we should. Don't cut the don't cut the thing. Okay. Okay, don't cut the uh dolphin. Hey yo, buddy. Heck yeah, pink dolphin. Yeah. They dropped an egg? What? Dolphins don't make eggs. What the hell is this? It seems to have left a gift. I didn't even know dolphins had mates. Okay, wait a minute. Dave, you know that they... Okay, come on. Oh, a pearl. Excuse me. Not an egg, a pearl. They left a pearl for me. Okay. <laughs> That's a little bit... It makes a little bit more sense. It probably had a pearl that it just left for me. Give it to me! Come here, lionfish. 
Yeah, we definitely need to get some freaking meat. Dolphin poop! Yep, dolphin feceum. I will take the Japanese sword. We don't need another. Oh, we probably do need to get, get another gun because we need blueprints. Triple axle. I will take that. Come here, angelfish. Thank you. Or batfish, whatever you want to call it. Angelfish to me. Come here, you bluefish. Dang it. Well, let's get this oxygen while we're here. Because I'm not going to come back for it. Mr. Limpet. <laughs> that was close. Nah, we're okay. We got it. Got that. We're getting a lot of bluefish. Let's open up this one. We need we need to find the same gun multiple times. Oh, harpoon tip. Precision, huh? I don't know what that means. Oh, dude! I didn't have to struggle with that one at all. I like it. Redfish, bluefish from uh, Go Dog Go, my favorite book. Yes! I do know redfish, bluefish. Wait a minute. Okay, so... With a precision tip, I don't need to tap A. I just said, oh my god, that's a shark. Oh crap. Okay, we need to switch it out to a gun. Oh Jesus Christ! What did the... Shark attack. I was not ready for that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> was not ready. Up, oh, I'm getting over my weight limit. I got some oxygen here. What is this? Glass? Okay, I guess I'll take some glass. Uh, I used up all my boost though now. Dude, this thing is way deep. Up, I'm at my limit now. Oh, crap. It's too deep. I can't go far enough. Should I get the puffer fish? It bounces off when he's puffed up. Okay. Well, okay, I'm not gonna mess with you. I'm too deep. I'm too deep. I'm already at 80. I'm at critical. We gotta go back up. And I'm already, I'm, I'm over my weight limits. I gotta go. Got a lot of fish. So we should be okay. Not great, but okay. Don't ink me. Uh, did it? Good to know, Captain Steve. Oh, Captain Steve says this popped up on my uh, recommendations. To play on Steam, it looks good. I, great IGN score of 9.1. I will say, dude, Captain Steve, this is a very fun game. It's There's some weird things to it, but I think the weirdness is what makes it really, really fun. 
having to make a, a special gun to shoot things underwater. <laughs> it's just so funny. It's funny to me. It's funny. Uh, plan to get a Switch release at some point. Yes, yes, I saw that too, Captain Steve. So yeah, it's coming out on Switch. It's supposedly coming out this year on Switch. Not out yet. It's only on PC for now. But they're planning on getting a, uh, a Switch version out there. Okay. We got a shark head. What is this guy? Hippity hop. You, do you know a lot about the giant blue hole? Sato? Okay, I, yeah. Ooh. Well, I'm not sure what to say to that. It's different in there every time. <laughs> yes, that's it. It's the best place to collect marine... Marinka? Ma what is marin Marinka? <laughs> I could complete my collection in this place. Ha ha! <laughs> Marinka? <laughs> what? Don't tell me you don't know the highly popular Ocean Life trading cards. Really? He's gonna be a Pokemon? Oh my god. Are you serious? Okay. Okay. Hmm. How can you not have heard of the futuristic trading cards that utilize an AI recognition system that automatically corresponds to fish in real life? Nope. Didn't heard of it. Um, never heard of them. It sounds fun, though. Sigh, you seem quite behind the times. I know, I'm old. <laughs> I like how this guy, with his five o'clock shadow and his balding head... Come on. Let me help you install the app. Hmm. So you do this, then press here, touch that, add a friend. Oh, he's adding me as his friend. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Um, okay, so what do I do now? Hmm. The amazing thing about these Marinka is you don't really need to do anything special. Okay. Just catch a new fish and you get a card. Check the cards every now and then on the app and you're done. Um, okay, I see. I guess I'll be able to easily see what fish I've caught so far. <laughs> That's right. It's almost like a... Whoa, you don't want to be saying that name. I understand. I'll try it out. I, I missed the joke. What is the name? It's almost like a what? It's almost like a Pokedex. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. Almost like a Pokedex. You just have to catch it and it registers automatically. <laughs> oh, I forgot to introduce myself, didn't I? I'm Sato. I'll give you my contact info. So hit me up if you have questions. See you then. Choo choo. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, catching fish will allow you to automatically acquire marine cards. You'll get fancier cards from catching higher grade. We need to get a hollow. We need to get a holographic. Come on. Shadowless holographic. Um, let's see my weapons. Oh, I need to get one more triple axle. When you get one more of those, I'll be able to make it myself instead of trying to find it. All right. Let's call Sato. Not picking up yet because he just left. He's busy. He's driving. He doesn't want to pick it up and drive. All right. I like it. A two star for the uh, clownfish. What is uh, that? Really? The parrotfish is only two stars? Please. Come on. Shallows, medium depth. Oh, okay. So the deeper you go, you have different depths. Got it. Let's see. Can I make anything? Nope. I spent all my money. Gotta fish them all. Uh, Dave the Diver. <laughs> all right. Blue hole obsession. Exactly. <laughs> he's dressed like Ash. He is dressed like Ash, except for he's like has a five o'clock shadow and he's losing all his hair on top. He's like middle-aged Ash. <laughs> uh, all right. We need to go down to the uh, signal location. I mean, we do have some meat. I want to get some fish, too. But we need to go down and see. <sighs> that signal is way too deep, though. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm going to be using that a lot today. <laughs> Let's see if we can go find that uh, that freaking thing for Mr. Uh, Dr. Bacon. We also get some uh, food to serve. 
We're gonna need some blue fish. Yep, like that right there. There we go. I mean, it's so close to the surface. I don't even know why it's here. Let's see. This is going to give me another triple. It will. I'll take that. So I should have unlocked it now. We're going to have a whole bunch of wood. Giggity. A baseball bat? No, we're not worried about that. I mean, I have my knife. I mean, I guess. We'll take that for now. I guess when the... Uh, Baseball bat. We get knife by default. The dive area procedural generations to a new one each day. Yes! The one thing I don't know, Steve, is it new every day, like, completely random? Or every day? Like, always day one will look the same. Day two will look the same. Every time you start, like, a brand new game. Is it totally procedurally generated? Or is it just every, every new game you start? Day one, it always looks a certain way. Day two, it always looks a certain way. I don't know. I do like the fact that it's never the same two days in a row. Oh, we have a swooping thing here. What's going on here? A golf club. Oh, God, I'm getting swept away. We got some currents going on here. I need my salt. We can go down here. Oh, get another gun. Pink shells. Got more oxygen back. Ow! I got stabbed. Oh, God. No. No. Don't get stuck in this loop. Oh, my God. Okay. Wait up here for a minute until it stops blowing. That way I can just go right through it. All right, there we go. Uh, not sure, Jason. Just heard it was uh, the review. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It does change for sure. I just don't know if it is procedurally generated, but it's different every time, but the same on every particular day. I don't know. All right, we're too far deep now. Underwater rifle level two. Level three. Here we go. What is this? Wow, this, so this is the place. Let's see. The signal is coming from inside. There are letters I've never seen before written on that pillar. If we had a tool of some sort, we could move aside that pile of rocks and try going inside. I think it would be best to talk this over with Cobra. Come up for now. Okay. So we can't really do anything. Got it. What is going on here? I'm hearing voices. I thought I heard something. Beat it up with a with a uh, golf club. I love it. Giant, okay. Giant Trevelli meat. Let's get some. Uh, let's get some stuff. Can I get the squid? Is that even possible? Nope, I don't think so. I, I hit him. It looked like anyway. I missed. the heck how am i not pulling these guys in am i not allowed to pull them in i'll just beat you with a with a golf club then that's fine uh, 
Holy crap. I'm gonna need to upgrade my harpoon for sure. <laughs> this thing is not working. Oh! <laughs> I got him! In the face! All right. Something special up here. What is this? A silver bolt. Oh my god, I'm running out of air. Oh, thank god, we have an emergency right here. Okay, good, good, good. Emergency uh, pull up. Uh, dive deeper. Exactly. Awesome one. Can't do that. I need to get a, a better suit. That way I can dive deeper because I was already beyond my limit. So the deeper you go beyond your limit, the uh, faster your air runs out. I found a place with a signal from the sea people sig uh, civilization. I can't hold back my academic thirst to check it out. I'm at an important symposium right now. Please talk it over with Cobra first. I'll come by tomorrow. Let's talk to Cobra. Huh. How to get rid of rock piles. You'll have to use a bomb, of course. <laughs> okay. Is it okay to detonate bombs underwater? Weren't you talking about a rock pile somewhere deep below? I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure it will be. Let's put a little trust in the sea's regenerative power. Oh my god. Co Cobra, come on. He's trying to gloss the whole things over again. Uh, but there is an issue. The delivery ships haven't been arriving lately. I need to get a delivery from a bomb expert I know. Apparently, the ship's gone off the radar. I think it's sunk. If I could use the drone I ordered, I could retrieve the supplies. Dave, could you go into the sea and retrieve drone materials? Drone materials? How am I supposed to find them in the ocean? It's huge. Uh, delivery boxes are likely to have been carried by the ocean currents. Look for a place with the ocean currents. Okay. That sounds dangerous. Okay, so we need to get a bomb thing. We have our triple axle blueprint now, thankfully. We went down to 90 meters. Our limit is 80, I think. So, yeah, we went 10 beyond. We got to go back to the... Uh, yep. Got to go back to the uh, restaurant. Maybe time to upgrade your equipment. Can I even... Can I upgrade it? I don't, I don't, I can't. Weapon shop. What do I need for that? I need gold. Oh my god, I need gold for that. Alright. Yeah, I, I need to go back to the restaurant, make some money. That way I can upgrade my stuff. Chaos? Yes, exactly. Uh, wasn't Cobra the bad guys in Get Smart? Cobra? Yeah, pr no, also in, uh, uh, oh god, uh, G.I. Joe, you were battling Cobra. Uh, Core Keeper is pretty good. It's like Stardew Valley, but you can dig up the ground. Oh, nice. There you go, Spades. Want to get a game called Under the Waves? That looks good. 3D diving game. Oh, really? Is it VR, Captain Steve? I don't know if you're still here, but hopefully, yeah. All right, let's get the uh, menu. Um, I mean, I guess we'll do that. Let's do five, and then we'll try to enhance it. There we go. Oh, yes, enhance it. I love this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> These are so good. Go to level three. Yes. Beautiful. Do I have to put it on the menu? 
for what's her name? Is she still here? I don't see her. Is she here? Crap. Do I have to call her? I don't have her number! Oh, crap. Hey. Poncho. You gotta, you gotta call your lady, right? Oh, God. I mean, should I put it on the menu? Oh, God. I don't know if I should. Two spades creation all came up when I was G.I. Joe, which surprises me. I'd remember that. Yeah, G.I. Joe. It's the craw, not the craw. <laughs> uh, maybe it was Cobra. Cobra was in G.I. Joe. Um, I mean... I'm going to put it on the list. I'm going to put the shark, the whole shark head on the list. I don't know if her, what's her name is going to show up. But I want to make sure it's there, ready to go. American hero, hero G.I. Joe. All right. I think we're okay. I don't have any staff yet. Research, nothing here. Okay. Get smart enemies were called uh, mad. Yes, they were chaos. It was chaos and control and get smart. He was part of control and they were going after chaos. All right, we're going to start it up. Let's see. Hopefully she shows up. Up oh, she did. Thank God. Let me make sure she gets it real quick. Disgusting as usual. The look of it just ruins my appetite. Even so, a promise is a promise. Oh. <laughs> this is the best game ever. I love this game. How'd you like it? It's good. It's tasty. I can taste the white tip reef shark fat inside the crispy whole roast. But it's not an overly cloying flavor. Is it ginger? The ginger scent mixes with the strong flavor of the head. It's quite lovely. <laughs> uh, pardon me. I wasn't expecting it to be this good. That's what she said. The Book of Five Rings states that the one should look at the essence of something instead of its appearance. Sharks look terrible on the outside, but they have robust meat and their head is a delicious taste. This whole roasted shark head brings such traits to their maximum potential. <laughs> oh, I must admit it. This is good. You pass, Boncho. Tell me that. <laughs> let me tell you why I'm here then. This restaurant needs to hire people. I can help you with that. What do you mean? Do you still mean to go it alone, Bonjo? This place is already operating at full capacity. Things might be okay for now, but you won't be able to cope with even more customers come. <laughs> you should be reading these things in their voices. I, <laughs> I can't do voices, Heather. I wish I could, but I can't. I'm not that good. I can't continue working alone, but it's not easy to find people I can trust. I'm Yoshi the Recruiter. This is what I do these days. Yoshi the Recruiter. Let's start by putting out a hiring ad. Okay. So we're going to be able to hire some people. Let's get this going here. Hire employees to reduce the workload. Employees help serve food in the dining area or make cooking food faster. Okay. Let me tell you how to recruit staff. We're in the middle of our night here. 
Pay close attention to what I say. Okay, Yoshi. All right. Okay. Internet ad, flyer ad. Flyer ad in progress. Hiring has begun. Okay. Good. The recruitment results become available the following day. I'll tell you more tomorrow. Okay. Let me get my uh, my stuff here. Sorry, buddy. I had a lady in here. She's crazy. My apologies. My apologies. Oh, God. Let me clean up this. Yeah. I don't have any more shark head. I apologize. Oh, I mean, he's making it, I guess. We only had one, but I we have more for you, I guess. Okay. We just leveled up the bronze. Thank you. I, I don't know how he's making more shark head. We only had one. Oh, God. Hopefully these people are okay with fake shark head. Perfect. Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! No, 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 don't leave. We're not slow. I'm just saying, I'm busy, I'm busy! I'm out of shape, come on! You see how big I am? It takes me a second to get over there, it's fine. Uh, mad was Inspector Gadget shaking my head. Yes, this game looks fun. Prime, it is really fun. Look at that! Oh my! Today was the best day we've had. We had more expenses though. You earned the Artesian's Flame five star. Yes. Oh, we have a new uh, best. Yes, we made a whole bunch of money too. I'm liking it. Uh, Celeste says, hey, Jason, thanks for reading everything. I'm legally blind, and I appreciate you doing that. That way I can follow what's happening in the game and the story. Celeste, I try to. I'm not very good at reading, but I try. I try. <laughs> hey, you haven't quit diving yet, have you? This is coming from Ellie. For you, Celeste. Um, what is it this time from Dave? Uh, I'm doing some investigating for an important paper. I'm going to need some help from Ellie. Get me three blue shells and three brown shells. Okay. Uh, Dave says, okay, but aren't you supposed to do this sort of thing yourself? Are you kidding me? Writing a paper requires a ton of research and investigation from Ellie. <laughs> what you're doing is only a very tiny part of it all. So don't let that get to your head. Hurry along. I don't have much time until my deadline. Ellie, seriously, she's a bee. Mm -hmm. uh, you really are impossible from Dave. Mm. But since you say it's for a paper, was it blue shells and brown shells? Yes. <laughs> yes, 07 for you, Celeste. Very awesome. Thank you for hanging out and chatting. Oh, yeah, we need to upgrade our equipment. Let's do that. Let's look at our cooksta. There we go. Got to like that one from Bonko. He has a weird... What did he focus in on one chick? Uh, we received an award. Please come and visit. There you go. It's so good, but I can't get over the way it looks. It's a bit less gross on camera. So here it goes. The shark head. Gross. All right. I'm going to make sure to like all those posts. Okay. So now we're heading towards silver. We are bronze. We need to go to silver. Let's upgrade our equipment. Uh, cargo box for sure, I think. Yeah, we're going to do cargo box. That way I can pick up more items. And we have Yoshi. Let's call Yoshi. She's not picking up. Well, of course not. She's ignoring me. Got it. Hello, boss. Addictive and nice game. Dude, this is a really fun. I'm loving this game. Seriously, this is a diver or Dave the Diver. Amazing game. Just came out full release a couple days ago, I think. Only on Steam for now. Only on PC for now. But 
it is coming to Nintendo Switch later in the year. So keep it in mind, you know, if you're interested in it and you have a Switch, definitely something really cool. It, it has a cool visual style. The pixel style is really cool. I'm liking it. All right, weapon guy. All right, we already have our... We have that. I think we're done on upgrades. Yeah, we can't upgrade anything else yet. So let's go. We need to get blue and brown shells, and we also need to start picking up our uh, our drone pieces. So like the engine and all that kind of stuff. Diving suit to reach the location. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. We got to do one thing at a time. Brown shell right there. I like it. I like having my container upgraded. That way we can hold more stuff because I need to get more fish. That game looks beautiful. Up oh, there's a there is a uh, weapon upgrade over here. The gun enhancement. Thank you. Make sure to get fish as we're collecting everything else too because you need fish for our sushi restaurant that's how we make our money what is this red starfish okay i'll take that give me that beautiful Give me that lionfish. And I like how you can upgrade a recipe. That way you know which fish to look for. So I've upgraded my uh, my parrotfish up, uh, recipe. So now I need to look for parrotfish. What is this? Oh, this looks like a wreckage. That's uh, just got some wooden rope. Okay, that's fine. I need to upgrade my gloves for that. For to get my sea urchin. You need the plans to uh, stasis devices to make money. We'll get there. We'll get there. I mean, we're collecting a lot of glass and wood. I wonder if... Like, uh, what we're going to need for the wood. I definitely need to upgrade my harpoon, too. because That way I don't have to hit a fish twice before I can pick him up. Or three times or whatever. Come on. Come here, buddy. Oh, jeez. Just smashed into the wall. Damn it. Oh, God. Okay, fine. Whatever. Got a fragment. Give me some O2. Uh, have you noticed Dave seems cartoonish? Very of you. Dude, yes. Dave looks very similar to me. We were talking about that at the beginning of the stream. And, and Dave is very similar to me in the fact that he just wants to dive, go fishing, and uh, and get some sushi. That's all he needs. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. Got a pink seashell. All right, so we were going way too deep here. Uh, we're only at 7 out of our 28 uh, kilograms in our package, so we can get more stuff while we're down here. What is that? You see that? Oh, that's a shark. Okay. Well, let's shoot the shark. Oh, my God. It's like a saw shark. What is this? Oh, my God. He's going to kill me. Oh, shoot. The shark killed me. I can only take one thing with me. What can I take? What need I, what do I need to take? Um. Crap, what do I take you guys? Dead. <laughs> one, yep, one death. Uh, Mediterranean parrotfish. 
I guess we're gonna take that. What happens? Do I do I wake up in a hospital? What happens? Oh, he's just on the boat. Okay. He freaks out and they had to go save him. Dave, this giant blue hole looks infinitely more dangerous than any other place. Always pay attention to your oxygen and use the escape pod when you're in danger to get out quickly. I was attacked by a shark, man. I can rescue you if you run out of oxygen, but you'll only be able to bring back one of the items you collected. That's what happened. So we just got one thing. Oh my God. All right, we just got our par parrot fish. Amazing! If uh, it saw fine, he woke up naked on the shore. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would wake up naked on the shore. All right, we're gonna we're gonna be more safe next time. We know that shark is very dangerous, so we're gonna leave that one alone. We need a computer chip, a motor, and a camera lens. We'll get it. We'll get there eventually. We need to get. A, we need to stay away from these freaking sharks. Holy cow! So we need to get our shells all over again. And grab everything. Okay, so everything is exactly where it was. So I guess if we lose it, like if we can't take it with us, it just drops back to where it was before. Go. Dave dives off the boat wrong. He sits forward, surprised he doesn't injure himself. Because Dave is super strong. He doesn't need to follow the rules. <laughs> uh. All right, so we have all of our shells. Give me all of that red lion fish. Silver bowl, I'll take that. Can I shoot the sea urchin and pick it up that way? <laughs> no, we're going to try it. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> okay. You can't shoot the sea urchin. Well, I mean, you, it doesn't matter if you do it or not. Oh, jeez. Just shot that fish. <laughs> See you later, fish. We're going to put you down here. You're going to sleep with the other fishes. All right. If they go towards you, they fall into the boat. Ah. He's easy. I don't know if you've noticed, but Dave has a little bit of a, uh, a belly on him, so he's ready to go. He's like, I don't need to go backwards. I got to go forwards because I got a little bit of weight on the front end. <laughs> my parrot fish because we've upgraded this one so this is my good recipe right here wonder if shooting fish gives you less fish because you shot him <laughs> essentially you've ruined it by shooting it there we go we got some copper here yeah I bet you shooting a fish is worse than just picking it up like with the harpoon. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should switch over to my harpoon before I start aiming at stuff again. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's a terrible joke for today. Thanks. <laughs> oh, visit Sherry. Uh, let me get back up here. If they go forwards, they fall into the boat. That's my terrible joke for today. Thanks. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Lionfish, I'm not paying attention. Oh, God. Give me here, lionfish. Come here. There you go.
Oh yeah, give me my my Japanese sword. I do have a lot of wood. Got an enhancement. I got a level three gun now. No, uh, no ammo for it, basically, though. Come on! Parrotfish. Uh, I do have a lot of what? <laughs> Scar, I do! I do, it's a reality! Oh. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to upgrade my freaking harpoon. Because having to hit the fish twice to weaken them. Oh my god, or smash into the freaking thing. Freaking wall. Is not helping. Come here, little blue fish. Come on. It's a simple copy and paste when y'all like it. It makes my life easier. There you go. Jason Wood for the win. <laughs> yes. Jason Wood for the win. I gotta look and see how much wood we have because we have a ton. All right, I think we're good for today. We got a lot of fish. We got a lot of materials. We got all the blue and, and brown shells we need. We didn't get any of our materials, but we can go make some money tonight at the... Uh, at the sushi restaurant and, you know, get some upgrades. That way we can go deeper and find all of our equipment. Hmm, already? Yes, I already found all your stuff, Ellie. <laughs> Poof, that was harder than I expected. These are hard to find. Yeah, Dave, he's working hard for Ellie. Well, this isn't bad. Now then, if it, if I just complete the delivery to Echo Watcher, Eco Watcher. Really, Ellie? This girl doesn't do anything. Ta-da! -ha! Research level gained. Uh, Eco Watcher? Oh, you don't know? Eco Watcher is a mission-based app made to protect the environment. Okay, Ellie. You get points for completing missions on the app and get rewards for reaching certain levels. Wait a minute! I just did all that work so Ellie can get all of her, her research points. She's getting the credit for me doing all the work? Thank you, Ellie. Uh, Dave says, so this was points on the app, not for a paper? Uh, well, uh, you see, you could say that they're basically the same thing. Really, Ellie. Really. <laughs> you should try it out, too, if you're interested. See you later. All right, Ellie. Thank you. Eco Watcher. Use the Eco Watcher app to check on various ecological missions. Gather points to receive various rewards. Okay. Ellie's over here screwing me over. Black vinegar. Okay. Uh, how do you pronounce that? Kahime? Kahime? We got a whole bunch of parrotfish. We got 20 parrotfish. I'm liking that. Dave the Simp. Basically, Dave is just doing everything for everyone. Well, there's an applicant for the uh, Boncho uh, Sushi hiring notice. Time to have a look-see. <laughs> Let's go see who we hired. Oh, um, I'm eating. Give me a second. So Yoshi says, I wasn't expecting an applicant so quickly. Let's check out who we have. Now right, let's see. Uh, this is a pretty nice resume we have here. From who? Let's hire this person right away. So, Kyoko. 
Uh, their skills are locked. They're a level one. Hey, you know what? They're the first ones. We'll take it. Uh, employment contract. I'm going to make money fast and go traveling. Okay, Kyoko. <laughs> Calm down. You haven't even started yet. So, uh, we're, yeah, we're going to hire her right now. Let's sign her. There we go. It looks like she's a chef. I mean, they have four different levels. They have cooking, serving, pure procure, so getting in, uh, ingredients, and appeal, 21. So she's highest in appeal and serving. So we basically have a, a person helping us uh, run out all the food from the chef. Okay. All right, looks like we have our first staff from Yoshi. Hired staff must be placed. So let's do employment placement. Staff can be placed in the kitchen or the dining area. I think Kyoko is going to be a diner or a dining area. Add them to your kitchen to cook more quickly or add them to your dining area to serve food more quickly. As for your first staff, let's try a dining area assignment for now. Okay. I think this is by design. Purposely, they give you someone who can help you with uh, delivering the food. I think that should be enough to go on for now. I'm stating the obvious, but things will get tough without staff to help once more. Once more customers start coming in. Okay. Yeah, we need to get more customers. We're going to need more people helping us. There's also training to consider besides hiring. That's all for now. Oh, so we can train people later on. Okay. Add staff. Oh, yeah, I don't have any. Okay. Don't have any more staff. Let's do our uh, research. Oh, we have new dishes to look at. Okay. Uh, boiled yellowback uh, fusilier. Sure, we'll do that. Wait a minute. I love these little animations. They're good. Research completed. Now we can do this with a salt grilled red tooth trigger fish. And then the, uh, I don't even know what that is. Agar uh, Toko Roten. Don't know how to pronounce that. And seasoned cashmere. Okay, so now we're, okay. Now we're using the ingredients I've been stacking up, but we haven't had a use for. Now I have dishes I can make with them. Okay, well, we're going to do our parrot fish because we have a ton of that. We're going to enhance it. Oh, yes. Play Skyrim? Dude, Connor. I, I've been getting into Skyrim on my own. I haven't streamed it yet. I love that. His knife is so sharp. And then the fish! His knife, his knife is so sharp, it cut the the petal that was falling towards it without even, even touching it. It just slid right through it. And that fish is just like, oh God, <laughs> so good. I love it, okay. So we're gonna put up our parrot fish for sure. Maximum. Actually, you know what? We're gonna do the auto supply. Um. Let's do auto supply all that. Auto supply. And let's put out some new dishes. So salt grilled red tooth. We'll do that. And we'll do auto supply on all of these. And then we have the uh, Toko Roden. Let's do all that, and we'll auto supply that. There we go. Remaining menu will be discarded as the uh, restaurant closes. All right, auto supply. I think we're good. We have the new ingredients, but we, we already checked them all out. Yeah, we're good. Okay. I think we're done. Uh, that wasn't a petal. It was a pair of uh, fishy balls. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was like a rose petal. <laughs> it's 
Scar. Uh, you got a waitress? I do. I know. That way I can have my, I can have her helping me out. That way I'm not running back and forth. Hopefully she does too. So we can get all this. We get more customers in here. She doesn't serve tea though. Why don't you serve tea? We got to get you trained up on the tea. Perfect. I'll take it. Up. Oh, got more tea over here. I guess I'm the tea pouring person. Let's do this. Oh, we're definitely going to need a cook because look at this. Uh, we're going faster than the cook. Oh, geez, the chef. This poor guy. Let's go over here. Oh no, he's about to get impatient. No, 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 no. Here we go. We got. I got it for you. There's a lot of people here all of a sudden. Holy crap! A lot of people. Oh, she needs her tea. I got your tea. Don't worry. Good. Okay, not great, but good. Here we go. Beautiful. Dude. Okay, yeah, we definitely need to get another chef. Because we were we were basically outrunning him. Oh, I really want sushi for dinner. Dude, legendaries? I'm gonna have to talk to my wife. We might need to get some sushi this weekend. Because <laughs> all this sushi talk is making me hungry for sushi. So we made six hundred dollars. Nice. That'll be a lot of upgrades out of there. I like that. We're doing good. We're doing we're doing good. Got this going. We're now on a Thursday, day six. Oh, no, no, excuse me. Oh, wait. Yoshi, I forgot to tell you something. What is it, Miss Yoshi? When you hire more employees and purchase more ingredients, you will have to take care of many things all at once. So I decided to give you a management app. We have so many apps, it's crazy. Which works on your smartphone. You can check the current situation of the Boncho Sushi at any time while using it. You can check the status of your restaurant without visiting it. So I can check on my restaurant without being there. I like it. That sounds handy. I already linked the app. Why don't you check it out on your smartphone? I'm sure Boncho Sushi will grow bigger and prosper. Well, let's check on our app. Let's see what's going on here. You can check the Boncho Sushi bar information using the management app. Check it on your phone. Let's check it. Management app. So, yeah, we are... We are doing really good. Doing real good on uh, stuff. My sales are through the roof. So far, so good. We only have one employee other than the chef and me. And of course, we have Cobra, our, uh, our investor guy. Yes, like and subscribe. <laughs> really? <laughs> I love that the game is even doing it. Like and subscribe. Thank you, game. You're doing my job for me. I like it. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So we need to get some more fish. Our parrot fish is the one we've gotten a lot of. That's our, our high ranking fish. Uh, research starfish. Let's deliver that. Beautiful. Research points. We get, we're getting research points because we have all this stuff. Remove jellyfish. We can we can actually pick up jellyfish. I need to go. I need to find some jellyfish. Okay. Okay. So as we're picking up more stuff, we can uh, we can actually go through all that. Oh yeah, we got some bistro music. White Wolf says, ah, I might have to get this game for my... Dude, White Wolf, it's $20 on Steam. I think it's well worth $20. United States. It's going to be different in Euros and all that kind of stuff. Canadian and Australian money. Depending on your location, it'll be a different price, but t equivalent to $20 US. 
I like it. It's really, really, I think it's worth it. Oh yeah, we need to upgrade our equipment. I almost dove in without upgrading. Let's do our uh, diving suit. Um, should we do our air? No, we should probably do our harpoon gun. Because I've been having problems with the harpoon gun anyway. So, oxygen's okay for now. Harpoon gun. Well, now we have a steel harpoon gun. Very good. We can get a pump harpoon gun? Oh, yes. Okay. So, we've done our suit and our harpoon gun. We should be better now. Uh, perfect game for the Steam Deck? It looks like... Dude, legendaries. That is... This is... This would be perfect. And I think it is Steam Deck verified. I have to, I have to check that out. Let me actually check for you, Legendaries, before you go too crazy. Uh, Dave the Diver Steam Deck. Yeah, it works. I have a whole bunch of videos on it. People are playing it on Steam Deck, man, so... Legendary, seriously, this would be a really cool. I would. This is a perfect little mobile game. That's why, when it comes to Nintendo Switch, this is perfect for the Nintendo Switch. Seriously, just kind of jump in here, you dive around a little bit, get your fish for your, your night. I mean, you could get it done, fifteen minutes, you know, and then you're you could put it back down. You know, you don't have to. It's not a deep game where you need to play for an hour before you make any progress. You know, you just do your morning dive, your night dive, or your evening. So afternoon dive, and then you do your restaurant in the evening. Another dolphin? What's going on, buddy? Okay. You must be the dolphin from before. Why does it look like it's in a hurry? I wonder if something's going on. Okay. Come to think of it, I don't see the pink dolphin this time. I should follow him. Yes! Let's follow the dolphin. Something's going on. What is happening, dolphin? Yeah, where is your uh, pink dolphin with you? Oh, she's in a net again? We gotta, we gotta save her. Man, you gotta, you gotta talk to her and be like, look, nets are bad. <laughs> Don't come over to the net. The pirates must have captured it illegally. Oh, the pirates are here. I should quickly cut its net. Oh yeah, we gotta do this. Let's cut it. No, 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 I don't care. The the pirates are literally shooting me? Are you kidding? Nope, sorry, I saved the dolphin. Get out of here, pirates. I was thinking the same thing. Perfect timing, dude. Yes. Steam Deck verified. I need to get a Steam Deck just for this. I mean, not just for this, but you know. Steam Deck would be cool. I'm torn between getting the uh, the Asus ROG and the Steam Deck. What's going on, Dolphin? You're okay, buddy. You gonna give me a, another pink pearl or something? Oh, they left another gift. I hope neither of them get caught again. I got a large gold bar. Okay, I'll take that. What happened to the dolphins? Hopefully that pink dolphin learns, you know, the nets aren't good. <laughs> Stay away from the nets. A blue seashell. I'll take that. Rope. We already have all the ammo we need, so we're good. I need some oxygen because I, I basically got murdered by the, uh, the pirates. All right, let's get an upgrade for our weapon. Underwater rifle, level two. Yep, 20% off, nice, yeah, it is on sale right now, you guys. So if you wanna get it on Steam, it is 20% off. So instead of 20, it's actually $18, or your equivalent, again. down in here. Oh crap, the shark! Get away from him! I do not need that shark to kill me. Get out of here. No! Get away from me. Thank you. Alright, so it seems like every fish has its own, like, general area. It's general depth that it'll stay at. 
So that shark is not here. We're good. Oh, we got some turmeric. We're good to go on that. We got an escape pod right here. I gotta remember where that is. We're down to 129 meters. Wow. Scrap iron. This is where a lot of wreckage is, it looks like. Yes, yeah, got a good write-off. Exactly. For your taxes, it's a good write-off. So, especially as a content creator, it's uh, it's something to think about. It's something I'm going to be thinking about. Like, oh, darn, I have to spend some money. That way I can uh, make more content. Holy crap, that's a shark. Whoa, that's a shark. Get out of here. Wow, that shark was gigantic. I am not messing around with that thing. Let's see, is this gonna give me a better uh, weapon? Uh, better harpoon, I guess. That shark, goodness. Let's see what's over here. Brown seashell. Don't get hurt by that. Oh God. Oh, there's a piece over here. Okay. We found something. Oh, and there's a clam or something over here. Oh, we got a computer chip. Nice. What do we get from there? Nothing? Okay. A blue clam. Uh, pizza. No, we gotta have sushi, man. Gotta get sushi going. There's another piece over here. Look at this. Okay. We found out where all the pieces of the uh, the thing is, basically. We just need a camera lens and we're good. We have an electric, a shock harpoon now. Oh, no, 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 no. There's a piece over here. Let me grab this. Okay, this is the last piece. There we go. Oh, look at that. We got all the pieces we need for our drone. Well, I think we're okay on everything we have so far. We just need to get some fish now. We haven't picked up very many fish. This is good, uh... Boxes here. Run! It's a make, dude. Yeah, it was seriously. That is a make for sure. Cause good lord, I wasn't ready for that. Give me some more uh, bones here. A leg bone. <laughs> there we go. We got a foot earlier. Now we have a leg bone. I like that. We're gonna have a whole skeleton pretty soon. We can, we can attack the fish really hardcore. Okay. I like it. Cheese! Let's see. Can we get any more? Oh, they're shocking! <laughs> Okay. Oh, there's different quick time events for each one. Okay. Oh, dang it. Come here.
So if it's electric, you have to charge it up. About to shoot this guy. <laughs> One shot. One shot. Okay. That was pretty good. Oh, gotta get my parrot fish. Come here, buddy. I know. You don't want to be on the menu, but I need to make some good sushi out of you. I need you, man. Here we go. Triple axle. Oh, we already got that one, so we're good. We don't need to learn that one. So yeah, I would I would pick up a, a new gun if it was new, but we already learned that one, so we don't need it anymore. Oh, we have a box over here. Cheap Japanese sword? Nope. Oh crap! I thought I had my harpoon out. Crap! I just shot a fish for no reason. I'm terrible. I am terrible. Yeah, okay, I like that I'm getting the bluefish automatically now. So as you upgrade your harpoon, it'll it'll capture uh, fish, larger fish, easier. All right. I don't have to work on it anymore. There we go. Beautiful. Up, we're getting towards our limit. I mean, technically we're over the limit now, but I like to go a little over. I was gonna try to get this game. Looks fun. Cody! It is very fun. It is super fun. There's a lot of cool like little mechanics in here. It it's fully released, so there's you don't have to worry about a lot of bugs. I'm sure there are bugs, there's always bugs in the game, but I haven't run into anything major yet, so I mean it looks like a solid game. It's fun. I love it. Yeah, angel fish. There we go. All right, I think we're we're way we're well over our weight limit, so I think we're okay. Let's go back up. Let's collect some stuff on the way. Get some ammo. I see some copper over here and a uh, a red starfish. Let's grab that while we can. Oh, and there's a chest over here. Let's see, what do you got in here? A bat? I don't need to worry about that bat. Yeah, we're at 30, almost 35 kilograms out of our 28. <laughs> Surface for the loot! I know, I, don't be too greedy, Jason. I don't want to die with all my cool loot on me right now. Because I have all the pieces for the drone. So we are good. I don't need to worry about that anymore. We have all the pieces. Got them all in one shot. <laughs> all right, we should be able to deploy the drone with this. Yeah, we got all the pieces. Oh. This is from Cobra. Hmm, you look pretty exhausted. Yeah. I am a little exhausted. Uh, well, the sea currents did knock me around a bit. Yes. I see. <laughs> okay. It'll take a bit of time to repair the drone and deploy it. Please wait a while. Okay. We have to wait for the drone to be ready. It should be done by tomorrow morning. And go about your business until then. Okay. Look at all the stuff we got. That's crazy. We're getting to a point now where we can bring back a ton of fish. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we can upgrade our equipment, I think. Let's see. We can. We can do our diving suit or our air. I mean, or we can wait and just upgrade something else later on. I feel like we need a uh, diving suit upgrade. 
Let's do a diving suit upgrade. So now we can go down to 230 meters. Then let's check our eco watcher. We probably have upgraded something here. We got another research fossils. Yes. Uh, seashells. Uh, we're almost there on a lot of these. Oh man, we're so close. We need some more. We need orange starfish. We need agar. We need a uh, animal skull. We need a uh, jellyfish, red lionfish, and we need pink shells. Okay. Let's see what rewards I get. An eco health bracelet. I don't know what that does. What does an eco health bracelet do? <laughs> I don't even know. Hopefully it gives us some good upgrades. Yeah, we got some good fish. There we go. I'm liking this. Are you streaming for another hour, Jason? Mike, I should be. What time is it? Yeah, we got another hour going. So we got a whole nother hour if you if you want to hang out. And I see, well, let me look at the vote. We have 400 votes in the poll if you want to check it out on the uh, live chat. And we have uh, most people like pizza versus a sandwich versus soup and a taco. I mean, I threw in taco at the end. I was going to do a hot dog, but I thought eh, hot dog is close to a sandwich. I don't know. What do you guys consider? Is a hot dog a hot dog or is it a type of sandwich? Because technically a sandwich is just meat between two pieces of bread, right? So would not would a hot dog can be considered a sandwich or is it its own thing? Is it just a hot dog? You voted for soup, Cody? Soup is good. I feel like soup is more for like colder days for me. If it's a cold wintry day, like if it's snowing outside, I want a big bowl of soup. If it's a hot day outside, I'm gonna go for a pizza or I'm gonna go for a taco or a sandwich. I want something that's not gonna warm me up because a soup, I'm gonna have it really hot. I'm gonna, you know, slowly eat it and it's just gonna warm me up. Hot dog is a taco, kind of. It's kind of a taco, right? Uh, Delta says, if you call a hot dog a sandwich, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> But Delta, seriously, a sandwich is just meat in between two pieces of bread. Now, you could say that there's a submarine sandwich, so it's a different kind of kind of bread. But essentially, a sandwich is just meat in between two slices. And you can put whatever toppings you want, just like a hot dog. A hot dog is placed between two slices of bread. It's a bun. But you can put on all the toppings you want, like you get a Chicago dog. You get like onions and relish and all that kind of stuff. Just like a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich, right? <laughs> uh, also, Pop-Tarts are ravioli. Yeah! Visit Cherry! That's what I'm talking about! A Pop-Tart is a ravioli as well. It's a pastry with a, with a filling on the inside, just like a ravioli. <laughs> I drive people crazy with that. Oh, okay. We need to go get some more food for, our, uh, for tonight. Guys, we're going to have a really good night at the... Uh, at the restaurant. I feel it. I feel it. The sushi bar op operates at night. Collect all the good ingredients during the day. Yep. Let's go get... We need some shells. We also need some of the agar. The uh, pink plants. So while we're down here, let's collect that. We have a wood. We got that. Oh, we have a, a gun upgrade here. Or we can get a triple. Oh, let's get a triple axle. Well, that's fine. That's a free one. And we did upgrade our suit so we can go deeper. We can go see what's deeper down. Underwater scooter. Here we go. Let's go over here on the left side of the map. grab some of the stuff like the blue seashell we don't need a blue one we need some orange uh starfish bread on two sides equals a sandwich that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying harry <laughs> not everyone agrees and it's not that it's i'm not saying you're wrong i'm just saying in general when you think of a sandwich what do you think of it's a piece it's meat in between two pieces of bread and that's technically what a hot dog is. 
sharp Japanese sword. I'll take that. Got another pink seashell. I don't want that shark to notice me. I don't have any upgraded equipment yet. I need to be able to upgrade my freaking, uh, what's it called? My guns pretty soon here. Oh my god, the big shark! Oh, Jesus! No, no, no. Stay over there, big shark. Stay over there. Four sides would be sushi. That's true. Well, I mean, t in, in my own opinion, I don't know of the scientific label for sushi, but... For me, it has to be either, uh, it's meat in rice with seaweed. Sometimes the seaweed is on the interior, sometimes it's on the exterior. Sometimes you don't have to have seaweed, like you could put some uh, tuna on the outside, that's fine too. But there has to be rice in there. There has to be some kind of a rice, a sticky rice in there. At least for me. Let's get down in here. I saw some good stuff down here. Yep, I saw this container. We have a bomb! Oh, we have a bomb! So we can't really use a bomb. I mean, I have to go find that freaking, uh, the blocked door. It's too dark down here. It'll be dangerous to venture down. Okay, so we can't go that far. Okay. So I've upgraded my suit, but we still can't go down that far because it's too dark. We need a, a flashlight, it looks like. Dang, this fish does not want to go down. Come on! There we go. Good lord, that fish. That took a while. Giant meat. Holy cow. That one. That one took a while. Uh, Delta wants a scar. Uh, is a very fun night. There we go. Some meat between two buns. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> oh, chat. You guys are going crazy. A skull? I got a skull! Yes, I got that research done. Got a lightning harpoon tip. I like that. Yep, I probably still can't go down farther. Yep, it's too dark. We can get some oxygen, though. Of course, there's a current. What is iron ore? Okay, that's new. Over to the left side. That way it doesn't get me. There we go. Beautiful. Gotta refill my oxygen whenever I see one of those. I'm gonna get this puffer fish. Give me that puffer fish. Yeah! Got the puffer fish. I got another bomb. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, I think I'm stuck underwater here. So maybe can I get out over here? Up. Don't want to get pushed into the spikes. There we go. I like this game. It's soothing. There's a little bit of danger, but it's not like it's impossible. Like, it's not so difficult that you're like, oh, it's crazy. It's like, okay, no. They let you go at your own pace. You know, you can get upgrades, and they tell you, oh, you need upgrades to get to certain parts of the world, but you don't have to do it in any, like, timely fashion. You can do it whenever you need to. 
Got another skull. I like the music. Right on four sides is fish and uh, cheese if you're playing Dave the Di Dude. Dude. Dave the Diver. <sighs> the truth is usually golden. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, we got a level two rifle, so we're doing a little bit more damage with that one. Oh, wait a minute. We have uh, our bombs right here. Let's see. Does that not do anything? All right, let's see. We're gonna we're gonna let off two bombs over here. We probably need a particular bomb, and that's why we had to go to Cobra. Yeah, see, it's not doing anything. Okay, so the bombs, you need a special bomb for that. You can't just use any bomb. All right, well that was a waste. I could have used it on those freaking sharks. I probably would have destroyed all the meat though. <laughs> Dude, like, it feels really nice and easy right now. I don't have to worry too much about the sharks or anything. Oh, we just shocked a whole bunch of shark, uh, fish. But yeah, we don't have to worry about the sharks right now. There we go. Got the dusky grouper. <laughs> uh, if you kill them, you can still serve them? Yes, but you it looks like you don't get as much meat if you kill them. So you'll get some meat from them, but you won't get as much if you were to just pick them up normally or harpoon them. But like this big old parrotfish right here, I you cannot harpoon that parrotfish. Oh, dude, I'll take that. Wait a minute. Let me shoot this. Net gun. I need to get a good angle here. Oh, he just didn't care about that thing. Okay. He just was like, nope. Net gun? What gun? Yeah, see? Okay, I'm going to waste all my shots on him. Nothing. So yeah, so this big green one, the parrotfish, he... I cannot harpoon him. I have to kill him. But if you shoot them, it's different than if you chop them up like that. When you chop them up, they at least are, like, natural, I guess. So it's not as bad as shooting it full of holes. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. Let's grab this stuff, and then we can go. We'll escape out of here. Because, yeah, our weight, we're way above our weight limit. We're at 38 kilograms, and our weight limit is 28. So we're 10 kilograms too heavy. We're going to push it to the limit, though. Let's push it to the limit. Let's see what ingredient we can get out of here. Olive oil. This container over here. Got an oxygen capsule. Okay, great. Some copper. Okay, I think we're way... We are 40 kilograms and we our limit is supposed to be 28. I feel like we're way over. So let's just go. Let's go. Bomb the shark and you get... Uh, no. I know. Mean, I should have used it on the sharks. I thought maybe it would work on the rocks, though. That's why I kind of did that. But hey, you know what? Now we know. We need a special bomb for the rocks. Oh, let's get in here. Well, we need two more net guns and then we'll be able to buy we'll be we'll we will be able to make it ourselves. 133 meter depth. We we, we can go to 230, but it's too dark down there. That's why we can't actually go there yet. Yeah, look at that. We got 10 parrot fish. 10 of the uh giant meat. Okay. We got a good amount of food here. Wrap up your day. Let's see what we got. We could we have some points for our eco watcher. 30 points there. Beautiful. Level up to level two. We got the eco health bracelet. I don't know what that does. 
We need uh, one more pink shell and we're good on that one. So eco poison resistant bracelet. Oh, maybe it gives you uh, upgrades. That way you're okay. Okay. There you go. It's worth it to turn in all of your uh, research. Because poison prevention sounds like it'd be good. I don't know if I need that, but it sounds good. Um, yeah, see. So my basic underwater... Can I can I upgrade this thing? Nope. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're good. Let's go back to the restaurant. Don't forget to hydrate. Oh, Mike, that's true. I need to hydrate. Thank you. Why don't you take a uh, squid? I, I need to do that, Mateo. I need to do that. I just... I was so focused on trying to get all the cool stuff that... I need to get squid. I need to get some other other materials because we've been getting the same kind of fish the entire time i will say we've upgraded our parrot uh, recipe so i want to get a lot of parrot fish um change of pace or did you get tired of speed running no man's sky change of pace kelly change of pace i just wanted to kind of uh get something new on the table and this game caught my eye and i'm loving it so far I'm I'm happy that I grabbed it. It's so good. Well worth it. It's $20. Well, $18 now. $20 normally, so it's on sale right now. However, it's really, really cool. I love it. Wait a minute. Can we look um can we research? Nope, no more research. Management. We need to add staff. We have no staff. Can I put up uh, uh, an ad? Yes. Let's do a uh, TV ad. So we're running a TV ad. Tomorrow we might get some more people, thankfully. Well, we need more people though. All right. So now we need to do our menu. What do we got? What do we got? Um, let's put this on the menu. And then we're going to auto supply it. Put that on the menu. Auto supply it. And we're also uh, enhance it again for the parrot fish. Um, yes. I love these animations. These are good. Oh, look, look at the fish. The fish is so good. How sharp his knife is. <laughs> it's so good. I love that the fish is like, oh my God. <laughs> That's so perfect. All right. We need to add more to the menu here. So what do we have a lot of? We have a lot of lionfish. Let's enhance that. And then we can put that on the menu as well. Auto supply. So the reason you auto supply, it seems, is that it'll only use the ingredients that you need. So if you only sell two, it'll only use two. Instead of me picking the amount, like right here, it says, how many do you want to get ready? I don't know how many I'm going to sell, so I don't know if I'm going to use five or if I'm going to use one or whatever. If you do auto, it seems like it will just use whatever you need. There you go. We upgraded that one. Let's do the, uh, yep, we'll do that. Actually, we can upgrade this thing. So let's enhance it. Beautiful. And then we can put it in here and auto supply it. I think we're good. I think we're all set. That looks good. What platform is this? Spectre. This is on PC right now. I'm playing on uh I'm playing on Steam. However, it does have controller support. So I'm playing with a controller, but I am playing on Steam. This right now, this game is only on PC. It is coming to Nintendo Switch later in the year. They don't have a set date for it yet. But it's coming to Nintendo Switch. 
And I, there's no other plans right now for any other consoles. I'm assuming it's very popular. A lot of people love this game. It will eventually come to other platforms, but right now it's only on PC coming to Switch later in the year. All right, let's open up. And we have our waitress with me helping me out. I still have to pour all the drinks out. Anybody want a drink? Nope. Oh, you do. Perfect. I'm basically the drink pourer right now. Perfect again. Beautiful. Let's get over here. Let's uh, pour you out. Good. Not great, but good. I'll take it. Oh, I got you. I got you. Uh, we need more chefs for sure. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. We definitely need at least one more chef. Because we are barely holding on. I know you're hungry. We're getting you. We're getting you. We're getting you. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Good money. Closed for the night. Auto supply seems to cook on demand, which might be slower cooking. That might be it too. That might be it too. However, it does save you on ingredients, so you don't have to worry about putting too much in there and you don't need it. Increase your rating now. Check the cooks to app. Yes. We've upgraded our uh, rating. We should have more employees ready to go. So we can uh, get them. Friday, this should be a popular day. Oh, is this Dr. Bacon? Yes, Dr. Bacon coming in. Good morning. Sorry, I couldn't come by yesterday because of the symposium. It's from Dr. Bacon. Did you speak with Cobra? Yeah, I did. Oh, come on. Come to think of it, I got materials. Since Cobra said he was repairing a drone yesterday. Yep, I was talking to uh, Dr. Co or for Cobra, not Dr. Bacon. Uh, Cobra says, ah, oh, a bit late, aren't I? Haha, <laughs> I just repaired the drone just fine, thanks to you. I got some supplies as well. Here's the bombs you asked for. Also, oh, thank you. Dr. Bacon, will these do? That's from, uh, Dave. Dr. Bacon says, all right, let's head back to that rock pile. Yeah, you need special bombs for the rock pile. Oh, wait, from Cobra. I haven't finished. Starting today, the Cobra shop is officially opened. Is he an arms dealer? <laughs> I know we talked about that earlier. Uh, Dave says, oh, what? What is that? Uh, Cobra says, uh, deliveries have stopped, but with the drone in working order, I can transport three types of items in a day. Talk to me and select the Cobra shop to see a list that changes every day. I'll also buy some stuff if you don't need it. Check out the sell tab as well. Okay, so we can sell some stuff to him. Uh, Dave says, I have a feeling you'll charge high prices, but it's nice to be able to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> I won't charge high prices just because I've got the only business here, so don't be afraid to visit often. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling he's going to charge high prices. Uh, Dave says, I feel like you let your business tactics slip up just now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I'm the only business here. Of course I'm going to charge <laughs> high prices. In any case, it's time to head back to the rock pile where the signal from the sea people was detected. All right, we're good. Give that chef a booster to cook faster. I need to do that. Negativas. Yes, we will be doing that. We, we're, we're trucking along. We're getting things going. So now I can buy auxiliary items and sell your items at the Cobra shop. The Cobra shop is only accessible in the morning and afternoon, so I cannot do it in the evening when we do our, uh, our cooking at the uh, sushi restaurant. Purchased items can only be used for one day, so keep that in mind. Okay, so I cannot buy stuff for tomorrow. I can only buy stuff for my diving today. 
Uh, Dr. Bacon says, ah, just in case there is something worth documenting inside, wow. how about taking this underwater camera with you? I mean, I have a phone. Why don't I just use my phone? Uh, a camera? This comes from Dave. That's right. It'll be important for research to record important data with photos. Take the camera and I'll let you uh, know when I find the right place to use it. All right, Dr. Bacon. So we should have some upgrades. We should also sell some stuff to the uh, shop. Let's go to shop. Oxygen tank expansion, one time use. An auxiliary device that will expand the capacity of your oxygen tank. Okay, we don't need that. Uh, we're gonna sell. I'm assuming we can sell this large gold bar. I think this might be worth quite a bit. I should try selling this at the Cobra shop. Okay, that's kind of obvious. All right, we'll do that, sell that. And then, I mean, all the other parts, like we have 23 pieces of wood. Holy crap. Whole bunch of scrap iron, whole bunch of uh, glass and stuff. I assume most of the stuff we're going to be using for like materials to upgrade stuff. A silver dish. It'll fetch a decent price. I should try selling it at the Cobra shop. Okay. I like how they, uh, they tell you, obviously, hey, look. You should probably sell this. <laughs> that way you don't have to worry about, oh, I don't know if I should sell this or not. Yeah, it'll tell, it basically tells you, yeah, you should sell this. A leg bone of an animal. It can probably be used for crafting weapons. Okay, don't sell that. All right, so yeah, it, it, I like that. They tell you don't sell this <laughs> or do sell this. All right. Well, now I have a thousand gold. We could definitely get some upgrades going on here. So let's get our upgrades. Wow, everything here is going to be expensive. Um, I feel like we do pretty good on our uh, on our oxygen. We're too deep now. Our diving suit goes 230 meters. We can't even get that far yet because it's too dark down there. I assume later on we're going to get a light. That way we can see what we're doing. Uh, did you send out ads for hiring? It takes a day. Yes, I did send out ads for hiring. We need to check that out. Give that chef a booster to cook. Three stars on Yelp. Service is a bit low. Hey, Eric. We're doing our best. So I feel like we've done a lot for our diving suit and our air tanks are okay. Let's do our cargo box. That way we can carry 42 kilograms now. Let's go to Cooksta. We should rank up. Yes, we ranked up. Would you like to go to sushi restaurant and proceed to getting raided on Cooksta? Oh, God. I mean, yeah, we should probably. Let's do it. We're going to head back to the uh, sushi restaurant in the morning. That way we can get our upgrade here. Oh, what is this? Cooksta raiding. Look at they're super serious about raiding us. Are they literally white glove? Is she smelling the fish? <laughs> well, that's not good. Yeah, thumbs up. We got it. We're silver now. So we've learned new recipes. We can have a menu slot, a serving staff, wasabi max, nice, cooking slots, and added interior. So now we can get more people. I like it. Let's go to research. Now that we have all the stuff, let's research it. Oh. Learning new recipes. Finger on fire. <laughs> okay. Got all that done. Um, hiring in progress, so give it some time. Okay, I did it last night. It's not still it's not ready still. Alright, I guess. So we're not ready yet. Interior. Oh, look at this. We got some fancy chairs and stuff now. Ooh. They're expensive though. Holy crap. Look at how expensive they are. Look at that. 240, 400. Our ceiling. We get new rafters. Okay. We got new speakers now. Lighting. We have uh, sake bottles. All right. So we have all this new stuff, but 
it's really expensive. Um, we have that one. Oriental lan lanterns. Okay. I right, I think we're good on that. Okay, let's go let's see if we can go out to the boat. Is it still going to be morning? Please still be morning. Don't have the time pass. Let's see. It's still morning. Okay, nice. Okay. Thank God. Coxta. Yeah. We got a silver trophy. We've been recognized. Silver is excellent. I agree with you, Heather Silver Mist. <laughs> uh, so we're almost there. Best taste. We need our tasting and our we need our followers up. We need to get more followers. Okay. I think we've done everything we need to do here so far. So now we just need to go down to that rock pile and see what's going on down there. We have a we have a bigger container that way we can bring up more stuff with us. Very cool. Yeah. So since we have a a, a container to hold a whole bunch of stuff, let's grab everything we can on our way. Like this gun upgrade. Upgraded my gun to level two. There's also a box over here. Uh, did you send out ads? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I already read that one. Yes, we got that. And we, we just got a bat. That way we can knock out some fish. <laughs> oh. Check down here. I'll be up to see there's all this random stuff down here. Beautiful. Give me a gun upgrade here. Hush dart! I will take that. A tranquilized fish? I like it. Get some lionfish going. Get some salt. Okay, I like that. You can just pick up just stuff like that. You can get some salt and stuff. You don't have to buy it. Oh, God. Really, lionfish? Come here, buddy. Yeah, you're going to be my... Uh, you're going to be an ingredient. There you go. You want to cause trouble, and I'll just take you out. That's fine. Go. Really? Give me that. Uh, Jason, happy 4th of July. Sith Gasm, happy 4th of July to you as well. Early. I know we're going to be doing that next year or next week. Oh, God. I forgot. Can't grab that yet. We're going to be doing that, I mean, at least for us. We're going to be doing that on Tuesday. But yeah, I know a lot of people are going to be celebrating over the weekend because, you know, a lot of people have the weekend off. But we will be celebrating on Tuesday. So there will be no stream on Tuesday. We normally don't have streams on Tuesday anyway. But, you know, if you're expecting to stream on Tuesday, not going to happen this week because 4th of July is here. Oh, God. 4th of July is almost here. All of that lionfish. So yeah, that's what I will be barbecuing. We'll do be doing some uh, some hamburgers and hot dogs. It'll be great. Oh really? You don't want to give me a squid? Got a squid that time. Yeah. We need to get some oxygen. Um, level two. Nope, we don't need that. We do need oxygen. That's what we need to look for, guys. Because I'm getting low on oxygen now. 
I will stream for you. Sith, do it, man. Do it. We'll definitely, uh, you know, hit me on Twitter if you're streaming. I try to retweet as many people as I can whenever they're streaming. Like if Beeble Bum, if uh, Delta, anybody who's streaming, if they hit, if they, if I'm following you, and I should be following most people, I will, uh, I will definitely retweet you. So do it, man. Do it. Orange starfish. I'm getting low on oxygen. I'm getting a little nervous now. You have on any oxygen around? Where is my oxygen? Seriously, where's the oxygen at? That's ammo. Oh, jeez. I feel like I have no oxygen. I'm going to put the bomb on here? Okay. That's a scary thing to say in such a casual voice. Sorry. I'm skipping it because I'm freaking out. Okay. <sighs> don't panic, Jason. I know we're about to be out of oxygen, but don't panic. Now, back to back away from the bomb for a bit. Now that we've placed a bomb here, let's get out of here. There, that should be enough. Here it goes. We're going to blow up the... Um... Please tell me there's going to be an oxygen thing in here somewhere. Nice. Now the road is clear. There's a faint light coming from inside. Go inside. Uh, what if there's a monster or something inside? That would also be an amazing scientific dis Dr. Bacon, come on, dude. I'm about to die. I'm about to choke out here. And you want me to go into this cave? Uh, Rick Jolly says, Jason, don't know if you know, but you're running out of air. Yeah, <laughs> I am a little bit. I'm freaking out. I'm basically like, I have what, like 20 seconds left? Go to a new region? Please tell me that it'll, they'll refill my oxygen if I go to a new region. Please, God. What is this? Sea people record chamber. Wow, this place is just wow. Okay, Dr. Bacon, calm down. I'm about to die. It appears to be some kind of sea people record chamber. My lucky feeling was correct. There definitely was a sea people civilization in this region. Look at that mural back there. No human could have painted that so deep underwater. Maybe they are from some civilization that sank from seismic activity. But look at that, Dave with the answers right there. That's the smart answer. Uh, Dr. Bacon says, a good point, but that style of painting and architecture can't be seen anywhere above ground. Please first investigate this place. I'm sure you'll be able to find a variety of interesting clues. Yeah, unless I die. Oh, do we have any oxygen containers? Oh, Jesus. I'm about to die, guys. It can't be natural pillar. There are even mysterious characters engraved into it. Okay. This mural seems to be of a warrior king or it looks powerful. It must be scales to the lower body. It's really a mural of sea people. Oh, my oxygen is not going down. Okay. Because we're in a story element, I think. They won't let me die here. Wait a minute, what is this? A painting of dolphins and marine plants. Apparently the sea people could draw, not only write. Good, this is from Dr. Bacon, good. That should be enough. I would like to research a little more, so please take a photo with the camera that I gave you. How do I do that? Yeah, my oxygen is not going down, thank God. New content, camera. A camera icon indicates that you can take pictures. Check your objective on the top left. Use the A button to adjust the focus and remove your hand to take a picture. Make sure your timing matches the screen indicator. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, 
Okay, we got it good. Now, I was trying to get that earlier. Huh, I see something on the floor there. Oh, it might be another Sea People artifact. Bring it to me. Okay, Dr. Bacon, calm down. Yeah, our oxygen is just staying at 43. Thank God. Oh, I'm hearing the voices again. It's the sound from before. It's from Dave. Hmm, a record chamber filled with sea people symbols. What could they have written? More importantly, didn't you hear something? Oh, Dave is hearing something. Uh, Dr. Uh, Bacon says, what do you mean? I didn't hear anything over the radio. Come back up to the boat for now. Uh, don't know if you know, but you're out of air. Yep, even in a game like this, Jason finds a way to die. I've already died once. I got attacked by a shark and it killed me. <laughs> All right, we need to find an air, like an air pocket or air container as fast as humanly possible. We got 40 seconds. Come on, air container. Please, for the love of God, give me an air container. I don't want to leave, because I feel like I'm wasting my time if I leave right now. <gasps> or get snapped up like that. Alright, I guess we are leaving, because uh, I can't find any air containers in. I don't want to leave the, uh, the area where the emergency uh, pod goes. We got 20 seconds. I know, I know, I know. We're going, we're going, we're going. I know the emergency uh, run was right here. Escape pod, let's go. Crab people, crab people. Tastes like crabs, tastes like people. No! There is an emergency uplift at the entrance. Yeah, I know. I wanted to go get more stuff, though. Uh, Captain Steve says, what's your first impression, Jason? I am loving it, Captain Steve. There is... There's a lot of survival elements in there, but it's not too difficult, so... Uh, there's a lot of different moving parts, but they ve they make it really easy to catch on to it, and uh, it's not overly complicated. So I like it. I like it a lot. It is one of my, my favorite games of the year so far. So freaking good. All right. Hmm. A Sea People artifact. This is from Dr. Bacon. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, well, I'm glad you like it. Dave almost died trying to get it. Uh, I have to, I'll have to analyze this artifact and the mural further at my lab. Okay, Dr. Bacon. I'll be in touch soon. It's a chill game. It's very chill. I mean, there are moments where it gets kind of intense, but for the most part, you're just chilled out, ready to go. What the heck? Are we have tourists now? Oh, no, they're protesters. <laughs> hey, hey, you there. This is from John Watson. I heard an explosion in the sea. Do you know what's going on? And Dave says, oh about that um we are c blues comes from john watson <laughs> we are an organization that tracks down people who pollute this beautiful sea and reports them i sometimes carry out justice myself for the for those that commit particularly evil deeds <laughs> i've had reports of someone who has been engaging in mindless destruction of the environment in these parts all right john calm down <laughs> I don't know if it was you, but you better be aware of this. Whoever harms the great sea will have to contend with Sea Blue. And me, John Watson. <laughs> okay, John. Now then, be ever grateful to the sea and never lose your love for it. I'll be leaving now. We're watching you. <laughs> All right, John Watson. Calm down. I like how, oh my God, he did the whole... <laughs> He did the whole, like, point at him, point at you. What a creepy dude. Will we be okay? That comes from Dave. And uh, Cobra says, Sea Blue, that group is infamous. They commit acts of violence under the pretext of environmental protection. It's mostly the large corporations with big fishing businesses. And the not-so-small fisheries that harm the environment most. They say nothing to the corporations, however. 
I expect they're taking bribes or something unsavory like that. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, Cobra! Yeah. That guy looked like bad news from Dave. Uh, it won't do you any good to be on their radar. Be careful. Well, I'm only doing what you guys contracted me to do, Cobra! I mean, what the crap? I'm, I didn't want to do any of this stuff. I just want to fish and make some sushi. That's all I want. <laughs> well, you and freaking what's his name? Doof and everyone. They're getting me in trouble. All right, we collected a, a good amount of stuff here. Yeah, we got some good red lion fish. We got some uh, Mediterranean parrot fish. We got some cuttlefish, the uh, squids. So I like that. Hmm. All right, so let's check our uh, research. There we go. We got our plants. We got our cell shells. And we need to research the marine plants. There we go. Overpopulated and invasive fish. There we go. We're getting up there. We're, good. We're doing some pretty good stuff here. Okay. Making some progress. We need some jellyfish. Remove the je jellyfish to restore the environmental balance. So, yeah, I guess we have to find jellyfish. Okay. Uh, the weapon shop. Yep, we almost got our uh, our uh, a dart a tranquilizer dart. That's probably way better to shoot fish. That way you don't have to worry about destroying them with a bullet. So I like that. Uh, can we upgrade anything? No, we can't. Wait, we got all this stuff. We're, <laughs> we are good to go on everything, basically. All right, so now let's just go down there and collect a whole bunch of uh, meat and a whole bunch of fish for our, uh, our night. Uh, White Wolf says, quitting, Jason? T no, never quitting. <laughs> uh, thank you for the great content. Found you when I got back into No Man's Sky. This comes from Tubes. And you've helped me a bunch. Keep it up. Well, thank you. And we're, we're kind of chilling out today. We're, we're playing a different game. Hopefully you guys are interested and you like it. I'm loving it so far. It's a $20 game and it is well worth it to me. Well worth it. It's a fun, chill game. It's not too hard. It's not... It's not insanely difficult to learn. It's very, very cool. It's, I wouldn't say hand-holding, but they definitely give you direction. They tell you what to do, and it's more fun about doing it and discovering stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Well, let's go down and get some more meat. I keep saying meat. Let's go get some more fish. That way we can make a whole bunch of stuff tonight when we have our stuff. Uh, tiger shark. We hopefully we can find some more bombs. That way we can take out the sharks. Let's get all this stuff. Since we have a big container, we can pick up basically anything and everything. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be picking up everything we possibly can. Let's see what we got here. I'll take a bat. Blue seashells. I don't even know. Do we need seashells for ingredients? I don't think so. I don't remember needing that. Come on, little guy. Unpuff. Unpuff. Wow, that's different. Every time it's different. Okay. I want to get this dang puffer fish. Got him. Starry puffer. I saw some stuff in here. So let's grab that brown seashell. I like the bat. I like how every melee weapon is like the uh, on surface level equivalent. He's like swinging it like he would be on the surface. I love it. Maybe their decoration is the seashell. They could be. Maybe they are, uh, Heather. That would be awesome. I'll stick them in the uh, in our uh, cool restaurant, our sushi restaurant. Give 
Give me that guy. Yellow back Fusler. Too far away. Oh God! And I like how you don't have a health bar, you just have your oxygen meter. So you're, it's just goes down one second at a time. But if you take any damage, it actually shortens the amount of time you can be underwater. Basically taking your breath away. I like that. Yeah, there you go. I was looking for the oxygen container earlier. Now we found one. Tomorrow is Canada Day. What are you doing to celebrate? Well, I have to have pancakes with maple syrup. Like real maple syrup. I'll eat Canadian bacon finally. You guys, you don't do real bacon. I don't know what you guys... You guys call it Canadian bacon. We call, or you guys call it bacon. We call it ham. <laughs> well, I'll probably have some pancakes and uh, Canadian bacon. To celebrate Canadian Day. And then on Tuesday, I'll be having hamburgers and hot dogs for Independence Day, July 4th for us. Oh my God, okay. There's a weird quick time events. You gotta really pay attention. You gotta pay attention to what the, uh, the upgrade lets you do. Wow, that's crazy. It's never the same. Get some kelp here. Canadian bacon is an American thing. We call it ham. Bacon is different. Oh, really? Do you actually use like real, real bacon? Because here we're, it's called Canadian bacon. It's just like round pieces of ham. And so I just assume that's what you guys used. No, you don't use Canadian bacon where you are in Canada. <laughs> uh. That's all right, White Wolf. I don't celebrate the the fourth. Yeah, I mean, you celebrate whatever. I mean, to me, as long as you're doing it in celebration, go for it. You know, if you, you don't be a jerk about it or anything, but yeah, I'll be eating some pancakes and some really good uh, maple syrup. Oh my God, that's the big old shark over there. I don't have any bombs. You think I could do it? Should I even try? Let's see. You gonna give me bombs? Please give me a bomb. Okay, oxygen tank is not gonna work. No, 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 no. Back away, back away, shark. I'm looking for bombs to deal with you. Oh, crap. That's not working. Come here, bunny. I missed him completely. No! Oh, Jesus Christ! They do some insane damage! Whoa! I'm gonna take my orange starfish with me. Uh, awesome. Maple syrup is excellent. Did you know that the Canadian government has a stockpile of it? I've heard that, Heather. I, I don't know if it's a, uh, there's a documentary. I think it's on Netflix of like, they have this huge supply and they release a little bit at a time. Like they have barrels and barrels of maple syrup. Like they have, like, they basically have like a, uh, um, uh, <laughs> what would you call it? A hidden stash and they release it slowly out. That way they ration it so it, it ha holds its value. <laughs> that is death number two. I got my uh, my starfish though. All right. Oh, we have three new people. Wow, look at this guy on the top. 66 on everything. Whoa. He is definitely going to be my new cook. Raul, you're going to be my cook. Yeah, we lost everything here. And it, we can't really buy anything for the shop because tomorrow it'll be gone. So um, let's check everything here. I think we already got all this stuff. Yeah, dang shark, dude. You have to have bombs for that shark. 
I mean, until I get my upgraded, uh, my upgraded weapons, bombs are going to be the way to go. All right, let's go back. That is Mr. T, dude. He is rocking. So he's definitely going to be my new cook. He's going to be able to get it out fast. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Who's this? VIP appeared. Vincent the Gourmet. Hello, viewers. This is you. <laughs> this is you from the uh, TV show Star the Chef. Today, I've come to a seaside sushi bar that's all the rage on the Cooksta Banca. Oh, B Banco Sushi. Bancho? Bancho? Sushi? I'm going to mispronounce it. I'm going to pronounce it differently every time. In this sushi bar that's famous for its exotic sushi, we have with us the legendary sushi expert, Vincent Yama Yamioka. Yamayoka? Yamioka? <laughs> Vincent. Aha, I am Vincent. Hello, Vincent. How would you define sushi? Sushi, sushi is a very simple dish. There is only rice, vinegar, wasabi, and the fish that goes on top. Everything hangs upon these ingredients. However, simple does not mean easy. Listen. Okay, Vincent, calm down. Come on. How good the ingredients are, how they were stored and aged, how they were cut, how the rice was cooked, and how it was molded. Hmm. All these things matter in the art of sushi. Yes. What? I see. This is Yui. I, I, in that case, uh, would you think of the exotic sushi that uh, Bancho Sushi is famous for? What do you think of it? The ingredients for sushi have long been similar. The king of fish, the tuna, and particularly the belly. Below that olive flounder and amberjack with white and red meat. All verified ingredients. You understand. <laughs> I cannot. I, did I get that name right? Oh my god. Terrible. I, I only got it right once, I bet you. To dare us to dare to use new ingredients despite the many proven ones that existed from the Edo era. Come on. Regardless of the taste, this shows a lack of respect. You have once criticized California rolls as not being real sushi. <laughs> oh my god, this is maybe I love it. This is amazing. California rolls as not being real sushi. We're curious to see what your opinion on Bonko Sushi will be. Now then, let's start by introducing the star of today's show. This is the owner, Bonko. Um, this is a bit sudden. I called, I'm called Bonko. He's quite ret <laughs> reticent, <laughs> reticent. I don't know how to, I don't know that word. He's quite reticent. That can only mean he speaks through his cooking. No, he was trying to talk to you. Uh, this sushi bar offers a fantastic view as it's near the giant blue hole, and the chef sure gives off the vibes of a master. I'm really looking forward to how the food will taste. Vincent, which food will you be trying? I'm not really interested in the food of a place that's so focused on appearances. You there, Bonko, is it? Your name? Let me take a look at what you can do. Let me see. Let me bring something, bring me something to surprise me. Wow, Vincent offers a daring provocation. He left the menu for the chef to decide. I can't just sit by and listen to you, your prejudiced thinking. Give me two days. I'll be sure to shock you. A standoff between a traditional gourmet and an exotic chef. Things are getting real interesting. <laughs> nice. Uh, early childhood education. Dude, again. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not educated. I never claim to be educated. <laughs> Someone in my family did that. Um, oh, wait a minute, Sean. Going back to school. Damn, boy, boy, body gave out on me. Can't do physical work anymore. Dude, I feel that, Sean. I feel that. I did that for 15 years of my life, and I, I feel like I, I ran out. <laughs> we'll come to you live in the next episode. Don't forget to tune in next time to Star the Chef. All right, so Vincent's coming back in two days. We have to find something really good to give him. Uh, Dave says, what are you thinking? What are you going to do? Uh, Bonko says, uh, a man does not run from a challenge. I've thought of something. Will you get me the ingredients? Sure. I need some sea grape and some white spotted jellyfish. They can both be harvested in the limestone cave about 100 meters down in the depths. I can easily get that. 
By the way, you'll need to capture a white spotted jellyfish alive. You'll need to tranquilize a gun or a net gun. Oh my god. Okay, I need to get those. Hmm, you're gonna make sushi with those? Okay. A limestone cave, right? I'll go look for them. We'll be doing that tomorrow because it's uh it's a uh nighttime. Canada's strategic maple syrup reserve. Yes, I've heard of that. Reticent. Uh not revealing one's thoughts or feelings. She was extremely reticent about her personal affairs. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. By the way, why isn't there a sushi in the poll? I should have put sushi in the poll. You know what? That is a, that's messed up on my part. I should have put sushi in the poll. I didn't even think about it. Oh, my God. I was planning on doing this game, and I didn't even think about it. I should have put sushi in the poll. Dang it. Well, it'll be on the next stream when we do this, because uh, I'm probably going to be streaming this again. <laughs> Sometimes a VIP customer will order a dish that's not on the menu. Procure the ingredients by the designated date. So we have two days to get my jellyfish and other stuff. I have the salt. I need sea grape and jellyfish. So let's research. I don't have anything to research. Staff. Oh, yeah, we need to add, we need to add another chef. What the heck? How do I not have staff? What? What? Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Here we go. Applicant list. Oh, my God. He costs 991 I need to pay $1,000 to get Raul? Oh. Well, I'm screwed on that. All right. Let's see this. Let's go back. Let's go to my ingredients. Can we sell some stuff? We're going to have to sell some stuff to get some money here because I, I need to hire a better chef or a chef. Um... Uh, I guess we're going to be selling some uh, turmeric. That is not worth it. What the crap? Five? Oh, my God. I can't hire another. Okay. We're going to have to wait till tomorrow to hire somebody. Mother trucker. Okay. Because I need to make money tonight. That way I can hire them tomorrow. I've seen chicken sushi in a... What the crap? Chicken sushi? That, I don't know. I, I draw the line on that. Chicken I mean, I don't, I love chicken. Chicken sushi? That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird. All right. Where's my, uh, my good stuff here? We need to make some money here tonight. Here we go. Need to get some really good ingredients here. There we go. We got that. Oh, man. We need some of that. More eel. We need some more eel for sure. We don't have a lot of expensive stuff to sell. Ninety-five. Good lord, I need some of this more expensive stuff. I need to get some eel. Okay, we are definitely going to be struggling tonight. I don't have another chef. Cuttlefish. We're going to auto-supply it. Anyone find a Scuba Steve here with the Dave the Diver? Dude, need to have Scuba Steve in here. All right. Oh, my God. I can't hire. I cannot hire a staff. I mean, should we just hire this guy right here? And have him cook? Lou? Lou? You won't regret choosing me. I might. I might. 
Alright, he's gonna be my cooking guy. Oh my god, because I, I, I need someone to cook. Alright. Yep, he's in the kitchen. Training? Oh, I can train him up! Never mind. That worked. That worked. We train him up. That made the difference right there. So his cooking went up to 46, serving 45, procuring is 60, and appeal is 41. There we go. There we go. Thank you, Lou. Thank you. Can I can I uh, train her? I could, but I don't have enough money. Okay. You can always fire him. I'm not going to fire him. <laughs> What could go wrong? 666, I know. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know I could train him. I was afraid he was going to be too low level. That's why I was nervous about uh, hiring him. But hey, we trained him. We're good. All right. Well, let's open up. So it's me and you. Let's get it done. Let's get some green tea going. Get you some green tea. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Get it over here. I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I got your green tea, I got your green tea. <laughs> wow. Good enough. Okay, we're good. Good enough. Oh my god. Let's clean up some of this mess we got going on here. Oh my god. I can't believe. I cannot believe we got that done. Whoo, man. Jason the Wasabi! Dude, too spicy for me. Too spicy for me. That was a good day, though. That was a really good day. We made 700 out of that. Nice. Okay. Oh, my God. We got to 4.9? What the crap? How do we get 0.1? Oh, we did perfect. I thought it was a good day. Remember the game uh, Tapper? Basically, yeah. <laughs> Stop the madness. I thought that was a good night. We didn't really, I mean, we were kind of slow on some stuff. Oh, what's going on here? They're still alive. The mermaids. Whoa! The squid is causing a lot of trouble. Dr. Bacon coming back. Hmm, Dave! Yes, Dr. Bacon? Dave! Oh, yeah, Dr. Bacon, what? Yes? Do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? I don't want to hear any news, Dr. Bacon. The good news! Ha, you're the positive type! I studied the bracelet you brought to me yesterday. It was from the sea people, as I expected! Wow, so it's an ancient artifact? The bracelet seems to be Im imbued with the mysterious power. Here, you can wear this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It has a mysterious power. Here, wear it for me. I don't want to wear that thing. <laughs> it's going to cause problems. Uh, Dave says, what, me? I mean, I'm grateful, but uh, why? Uh, who knows? There might be some frightening sea people curse on it. What? <laughs> Dr. Bacon, that is a good sell right there. 
Of course. Yeah, look, I'm totally let me wear it now. Yeah, <laughs> Dave's like, what? <laughs> well, in any case, try it on first. I don't want to wear this thing. What are we going to do? Sea People Bracelet. A bracelet shaped uh, Sea People artifact has a mysterious energy that aids breathing. Survive for a certain period of after running out of oxygen. Oh, okay. So you can breathe after you run out of air, you, you don't immediately die. Okay, I can take that. Wow, I feel some kind of new power inside me. All right, Dave, calm down. <laughs> ah, glad to hear nothing bad happened, Dr. Bacon. Come on, dude. You'll be able to check your diver box for more information about the charm you're wearing. Oh, and I have more great news. I've analyzed the artifact and investigation data. I was able to find a very strong signal in these ocean depths. This, uh, this was the right place. The object didn't just float over here. I have a feeling the giant blue hole that suddenly appeared is serving as a conduit to the Sea People site. A very lucky opportunity! All right, Dr. Bacon. And Dave says, that just sounds like I have to risk my life again. So, what's the bad news? Uh, Dr. Bacon says, uh, in order to venture deep, you'll need a deep sea headlamp. There you go. I'm going to get my flashlight. Deliveries have stopped right now for some reason, so getting one is out of the question. Maybe Duff will have one. He has all sorts of things. Yeah, the, the gun guy, he'll have a, a headlamp. Hmm, you're right. Try contacting Duff first, will you? Uh, sure. We'll talk to Duff. That's not a squid. It seemed like a squid. Or a gigantic squid. Or what do they call those? Yeah, it's a squid, isn't it? You can equip charms and swap them out in the inventory. Charms have various effects that will help you out in the game. So don't forget to try them out when you find them. Okay. Where's my, uh, where's my inventory? Um, Cooksta. Let's go to Cooksta. Nice. Shark sushi has many has a manly taste. I feel stronger. All right. The taste of chewy squid sushi. I can still remember it. I need to go again. Yes. Look at all these people. Dr. Bacon. To think something this amazing lay underneath the sea. Shocking. This calls for more sushi. <laughs> there we go. We're getting there. We're getting close. We need more followers. Best taste. We need more taste. All right. Where is my... Where, let me go to my management app. Ingredient zone. Kitchen staff. Okay, I can check on it, but I can't really do anything with it. Okay. It's not a squid. It's a kelpie. Really? I don't know what you guys are talking about. You guys are crazy. Let's see what do you have on your shop there, uh, Cobra. An underwater cargo box. A waterproof cargo box that can be installed underwater. Acquired items can be stored inside, and stored items will automatically be retrieved upon leaving the water. Oh, nice. So I can store stuff there. What is this? A trigger net trap. A net trap activated by a trigger. The net opens and captures targets within range when the trigger is pressed. Okay. Actually. Oh. Go back to my... Uh, my phone here. Where's my, um, oh, can I hire people? I don't think I can hire anybody here. Let's go for weather. It's still going to be sunny. It's just sunny every day. Okay. There's no storms. Mm. Let's do air tank. Air tank it is. Come to think of it, it's already been around eight years since we've known each other. Mm -hmm. I was having back. Oh yeah, we already read that. What? Yeah. It was a dealer, mm -hmm. and we, we found out he worked for Hans. Okay. We could go back, but now we're not going to worry about it. Mm -hmm. I think I should make a call first. What? Who should I call? Oh yeah, we should call Duff, of course. Yo, good luck. Ah, why are you so angry, Duff? I ordered a limited edition Leas Chan figurine. Okay. <laughs> but it hasn't come for over a week. Would you believe it? All right, Duff. It's got a serial number and a limited edition only art book. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down a bit. Everyone seems upset with deliveries having stopped. I think there must have been some kind of an accident. To see what's going on, I will need a deep sea headlamp. Oh, well, of course. I have one of those in my safe storage. But I can't give it to you for free. There's a condition. Oh, God. What do we have to do for Duff? I think I know what's coming. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to know. Please find my Leia Chan figurine. Yep. It's in a pink delivery box. You'll know it when you see it. I requested special care for the package, so it should not have been washed away. If the ship carrying it sank, it's likely to be somewhere nearby. Find it for me and I'll give you the deep sea headlamp. And uh, Doug or Dave is like, ah. I'll have to first find the location of the sunken transport ship. I think I've run into it a few times now. So we're okay. All right. Ali says, I'm surprised this game didn't come out on Game Pass. Well, I know it's very indie, so I don't know if they're even going to do it. They, as of right now, they don't have any plans for an Xbox or PlayStation release. They, it's on PC right now, and it's coming to Nintendo Switch later on. So <laughs> we, we'll see if it comes to consoles. I assume, I mean, it's really popular. I assume it's going to come, but you never know. Jason, you should get fingerless gloves and a red headband. I know I need to. I need to. <laughs> I can be duff too. Oh. All right, so my goal is not to die. I hear loud noises from over there. I should go check things out. Oh, God, what's going on with our uh, dolphin? Oh, my God. Why? Why are you guys doing this to me? These poor dolphins. Hey. Why do you keep bothering these dolphins? This is from Dave. Uh, Pirate says, So you're the one who keeps interrupting our plans. I can tell just by your silhouette. You need to be taught a lesson. You better be ready. Oh, jeez. I'm not ready for this. Really? Oof, I was just looking to scare them. Oh, well, I'll have to see if I can defeat them. I have to literally underwater battle? All right. Thank God they wait to shoot at one at a time. <laughs> oh, I just killed a pirate. Oh, jeez, Louise. Really? We're murdering people now? Thank God they stun lock. I just stun locked the crap out of them. I was going to say, these. Uh, there's going to be some sharks that come over here now. <laughs> oh, they're stunned? I just stabbed the crap out of that guy and he got stunned, quote unquote. All right, the pirate says, oh, we're retreating for the day. You'll hear from us again. Why you guys gotta mess with the dolphins? Oh, there's one guy. Oh, he's freaking out. He's like, oh God. Uh, I'm surprised this game didn't come out. Yep, I saw, I read that one. Yeah, the dolphins. Gotta save the dolphins. Oh, they did a little heart. I love it. Thank you, little dolphins. Is that a little baby dolphin that I saw? What? I saw a pink little dolphin fly or swim away. A rusty dolphin necklace. Huh, it left something like an old charm. I should identify it later. Okay, we got it. We got a dolphin necklace. I'll take that. cheap Japanese sword. I'll take it for now until we find something better. Shock harpoon. Oh, don't touch that guy. Don't touch that guy. Ah, I got poisoned. Thank you. Brown seashells. Was there anything up here? Did I miss something up here? Up oh, there is something. Another brown seashell and silver bowl. I'll take that. Uh, I cut them so bad. I know I was cutting the crap out of those pirates. Got them.
I'll take an O2 canister. I need to get a glove for that sea urchin. Oh, really? Do I have to shoot it with a gun? Nope, I'm not. Okay, I can't get him at all, huh? The uh, eel is not... Okay. I thought I was going to be able to take out the eel, but I guess not. All right. Upgrade. Nope. Not an upgrade. Oh god, that's a wall. Oh Jesus! Jesus! Give me that. Beautiful. So I'm looking for a pink container. That way I can get my headlamp going. I'm guessing it's going to be down here where the drafts are, where the currents are flowing. That's not a pink one. I'll take a golf club. I should have beat up the, uh, the pirates with a golf club. That would be awesome. Oh, crap. Oh, just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Oh, there's an oxygen container down here. Ooh, a sniper rifle. <laughs> I mean, sure, I'll take that. Got it. I need to get a jellyfish. Where the heck are jellyfish at? Oh, we have an emergency right here. So we have an emergency evacuation. So that's good. I like how the golf club cut that down. Mobs are like, how are you enjoying the game? Is this your first time playing? Kiwi Gamer, this is my first time playing. And I'm loving it. I am really loving it. It is so much fun. It's it's just, it's not, it's not too difficult, but there is some difficulty to it. But it's not frustratingly difficult. So it makes sense. It feels like you're accomplishing stuff while you're doing it. It's just, it's a really, really solid game. I love it. It's really, really fun. To me, it's relaxing. Just kind of go around collecting stuff, upgrading stuff, whatever you can. I like it. I really do. I like it a lot. Just the going around and uh, grabbing all the materials you can get, you know, collecting fish. That way we can uh, sell some stuff and do some sushi. Oh, God. Oh, there it is. There's the, there's the pink box. There, my precious liaison. <laughs> Leah's chat. Bring it to me quick. Finish your mission. All right. It's a squid. No, it took it. Well, how am I supposed to get it now? <gasps> Bomb. Okay. What was that just now? My, my Lushan. She disappeared into the unfathomable depths. It seems to have been some kind of a giant life form. Please go and retrieve her. Wait, that obviously looks dangerous. Besides, the doors on the ship are locked, so I can't go inside. Do you really think I don't didn't think of that before concocting Leachan's rescue plan? 
I'll provide you with my secret weapon, the gas cutter. Even at this moment, Liachan awaits her master. Come to the boat, will you? This guy's encouraging. All right. Oh, crap. Oh my god! That was not good. Just swim like the wind. I'm dead. I'm dead. We're going up. No! No, I just lost all my good stuff that I just picked up. We have anything good that we need to take with us? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. We'll take our green hump head. Dude, just keep swimming. I was trying to get away from him. Emergency thing just takes too long to load up. I'm still having trouble calming down, just like Leah Chen did when she first came face to face with Fenrir. Oh, good lord. Duff, come on. Since you found the location, I'll reward you for it. I like doing honest dealings. He's gonna give me the gas thing. Now then, let's begin the Leah Chen rescue mission. Take this gas cutter. You'll see a spot that can be cut into when you reach the ship. There will be a button prompt. <laughs> okay. Cut the weak point in the iron door and you'll be able to enter the ship. Just retrieve the pink delivery box that has Leah Sean in it from the inside the ship. You should be should be simpler than you think. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. But I saw a huge tentacle taking the ship. It looks extremely dangerous. Do you mean to say that it's okay for Leah Chan to expire in the darkness down there? This mission must not be delayed for a moment longer. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Oh, I'll try to go down there. Great. Uh, Hunter says, what? When did I become a member? We have had a lot of gifted memberships lately, so you probably got gifted a membership, Hunter. I just lost everything down there. I know. Let's put it in there. We also got a dolphin uh, charm. Necklace received after helping the dolphins couples increases your dash speed by 30%. Okay, yes. You can wear the dolphin necklace to move faster. Keep in mind that oxygen will be used up faster. Oh! It, it increases your usage as well. All right. Weapon. We have all this. Where is my inventory? I could have sworn I saw an inventory. Oh, no. In here. Duh! When you're on the ship. Okay, so you can have two charms. I have a bracelet and I have a, a necklace. All right. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Does he have anything I need? I'm probably going to need some stuff from him. Uh... All right, let's go. Should sell the pearls. Oh, crap. I didn't think mother. Well, <laughs> we'll sell before we go back to the uh, back to the sushi shop tonight or re sushi restaurant tonight. I should have done that. That way I can get more money. Dang it. I didn't even think about it. Get my seashells. Some ropes. Get all my stuff again that I dropped because I died. Upgrade my gun. Upgrade it again, please. Ah, oh, no, we're not taking that then. There we go. We know it's down here. 
I gotta be careful of that dang shark. Seashells, uh, seashells in the sea. Yeah. <laughs> She sells seashells down by the seashore. That's the hardest thing in the world to to uh, to say. I don't know why. Hey, 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 get out of here, lionfish! You really want some? All right. It's your choice, not mine. We gotta get some. What are we gonna use wood for? We've been collecting a ton of wood. Do I just sell wood? The salvaged wood. It has to be that, right? Thank you, Barracuda. Upgrade. <gasps> net gun. Oh, I should have waited. I got my net gun. Now nah, we're going to leave it. <gasps> no, we can't leave it. Because I need to capture the jellyfish with alive, so I need a net. Oh, dang it. Sally shells. Uh, Sally sells seashells down by the seashore. Yeah, exactly. Just the, all the S's, especially I have a lisp, so it's really hard for me to, to say that without lisping. Lis lisping. But I do it. I, you know, I, I have to think about every time I speak with an S, I have to really think about it. We should be close. Um, swap it out. And then we will use it and then pick it up. There we go. That's what I needed to do. Just get my oxygen going again. All right. The shark should be around here. This must be the door. Let's try using the gas cutter from Doof. Well, before we do that, let's do this. Oh, my God. Oh. I have a feeling this is going to be a boss battle, so we will need a real gun for this. What the crap? Turn on the gas cutter and use L to move. Keep your moving inside the circle. Really? This is not that hard. If it was moving, oh god, it's moving faster. Okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I lied, I lied. Oh yeah, now it's slowing down. Okay. Oh! It, it stopped and then went faster. What the crap? This is definitely would be a lot easier with a mouse and keyboard. I'm not that smart though. I'm using a, a joy. I'm using a joystick. I'm using a thing here. All right. Oh, ho, I was in too much of a hurry to properly tell you how to use it, but you figured it out. Go in through the open door now. Your master is coming. <laughs> All right. You sense a dangerous creature's presence. I have a gun, so we're good. And I have a mine, so we should be okay as well, just in case. No! No, 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 no! Okay. <laughs> huh, the space below seems larger than expected. Take a look around, Dave. I'm looking. I'm not going to use that yet. Is that going to be an upgrade? Please give me an upgrade. Or give me a sniper rifle. I'm not going to use a sniper rifle, though. There's a lot of oxygen down here. Oh, crap. I'm not using that. I wish. Maybe there's an upgrade later on that lets you have more than one. Or more than two, I should say. Where's my pink box down here? Where is it at? I'm looking. This is not good. There it is, the pink delivery box with Lanchon inside. 
wait, more importantly, look at that giant squid. I told you it was a giant squid. <laughs> So that's our culprit. I guess it knows a good thing when it sees it, even if it's just a squid. Duff, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it seems to be asleep. Sneak up and bring it back quietly. I've come too far to go back empty-handed. I guess I'll try approaching quietly. How do I how do I approach quietly? Yeah, I don't. You don't approach quietly. That's the problem. <laughs> Giant squid. It's a boss battle, isn't it? Oh crap. It's awake! I need to get back! Don't tell me you're gonna check it out! Dave, don't tell me to check it out! Use the gun I gave you! The harpoon will be of no use! Here we come! Okay, yeah, I need to use the gun. Great. Whoa! Okay. Magically, I get put right next to all the... Wait a minute. Oh, God. All right. I'm guessing I need to shoot the tentacles when they come up. Come on. Where you at? Nope. Can't use that. I don't seem to be doing anything to him. Okay. Yeah. That's not doing anything to him, I guess. All right. So don't shoot the... Uh, don't shoot the tentacles. They're not doing anything. that okay so the tentacles are just there to make me slow down no all right get down in here well wait 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 Got you, buddy. Ouch. Um, I need to get some more oxygen over here. I need to get some more ammo as well. Let's pick up this. We're gonna switch it out for do, doing this. All right. There we go. I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, give up, come on. Give up. Okay, I think we got him. I think we got him, yeah, he's dead. We saved the mermaid. Oh, maybe not. That's a little mean of you. I know. <laughs> Alright, well, we can get the box. Wait! Were those sea people just now? Huh, what do you mean? All I can see is the pink delivery box. Okay, Duff. Bring it back quickly! It's a waiting rescue! D Dave says, telling him won't do any good. I'll have to go up and tell Dr. Bacon. Alright, we saw some sea people, living sea people. Hmm, the box is pinned under the squid tentacle. I'm going to get messed up, aren't I? I'll have to cut it away. I wonder if it's edible. I should try. Oh, oh, it's going to be a new food. Okay. I get, I'll take some squid tentacle with me. Yes, that's the one. Come back up to the boat. I'm so relieved. Leah Chan. <laughs> oh, it automatically takes me out of here. No, I don't want to go back to the boat. Let me get some more material. I need to get, oh, I need to get jellyfish. Yes, Leachon! Leachon! 
<laughs> to think she hasn't been damaged. Oh, there's salt water everywhere. Duff, come on. <laughs> I'll clean you up. Here comes Leah. <laughs> Whoops. I said Leah Chan's line by accident. Though I'm the master. Good lord. <laughs> yeah, Dave is speechless. I, I agree, Dave. Um, in any case, a promise is a promise. Yes, Duff. I need that headlamp. Here you are, the deep sea headlamp. It's a recent model that turns on automatically as necessary. I must go help Leah Chan recover. Goodbye, eternity. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Uh, I wish I would have been able to get more materials before I got back up here. Oof, I guess that's over for now. Come to think of it, I did bring this. What will I do with this giant squid tentacle? It smells awful. I'm not sure if I could be used if it could be used to cook with. I'll have to give it Bonko a call. Alright, we have to give him a call. Oh waifu! Exactly awesome what it's waifu. <laughs> oh lord. Yeah, we didn't get very many materials today. Oof. Wrap up your day and get things ready. I know, I need to. I have to call, uh, I have to call him to see what's going on. Marco. What is it, Dave? Well, I was helping Duff and I defeated a giant squid. That's incredible. <laughs> that comes from Broncho. I couldn't bring the whole thing, so I cut off a bit of its tentacle. Is this edible, perhaps? Uh, Bongo says, of course! The uh, ammonium chloride that helps it float gives it an awful stench, however. And because it's very tough, it's difficult to cook using conventional methods. I don't think we'll be able to offer it to our customers anyway. Why don't we uh, close up shop for the day and hold a party with the squid? I've been busy since we opened, so I haven't treated you to any proper food, despite your hard work. Wow, that sounds fantastic! Yes! We have a day off! Let me clean up a bit. Come to the sushi bar when you're ready. Dr. Bacon will be there as well, so I can tell him about the fish people I saw. Nice. There we go. So we got that knocked out. Oh, I, we're automatically going to go. Okay, we're automatically having a party. Man, if I joined Discord, I'd have to pay a play No Man's Sky. Hmm. No, you don't have to. There's other game categories on the Discord if you want. Dave, you're a bit late. Everyone's been waiting for you. Wow, you finished all the cooking already? Mm. When did everyone arrive, though? Let's talk to everybody. Let's talk to her, y uh, Yoshi. A party with customers. There is a lot of progress. Very good. Has there? Restaurants should put their customers first. This comes from Yoshi. Food, drink, service, and customers are the basic foundations of a restaurant. In the past, there was only a rigorous chef and his cooking. Uh, Dave says, uh, I was here from the beginning. Yeah, Yoshi says, yeah, but you weren't very noticeable. Well, screw you too, Yoshi. <laughs> Do you remember what I told you back then about the reviews on Cooksta? Uh, yeah, you said there weren't any real mentions of me. Uh, yeah, but now people do mention you, albeit, uh, albeit a rarity. <laughs> they say things like, he poured me hot green tea. He was working hard preparing the wasabi. <laughs> he was friendly. He looked busy. Oh, the customers are recognizing your hard work. Thank you, Yoshi. Well, that makes me feel good. Dave, you are really easy to impress. Customers are honest and intuitive, more so than you think. They know if you're sincere, kind, diligent, or skilled, and they react accordingly. That's why I find this moment hard to believe. I To think that obstinate <laughs> Bonko is working, uh, uh, yeah, obstinate Bonko is working with people and holding parties. I think it's Dave, I think it's, I think it's thanks to you, Dave. Thank you, Yoshi. Mm. That makes me wonder what he was like in the past. I can't divulge details about someone else's past, but maybe someday, if the opportunity presents itself, I might be able to tell you. Okay, Yoshi, thank you. Talk to you. Oh, we have to talk to everybody, okay. Uh, Steve! <laughs> what in the world is this game? Colby Coltwright! This is an amazing game called Dave the Diver. It has so many layers to it. Basically, you're a diver named Dave. You go out and you're collecting fish to make sushi at your sushi restaurant that we're at here. The better the ingredients, the more money you make. The more money you make, the more upgrades you can buy. That way you can get better fish. 
But there's also a big storyline with sea people under the water. It is such a good game. I love this game. I'm in love with this game. Let's talk to Cobra. Wow, Dave, congratulations. Word of Boncho Sushi is now getting around. Uh, Dave says he looks to be in a very good mood. Look at this squid tentacle. It's the sort of thing you dream of eating as a child. I don't know about you. I don't dream of eating a uh, squid tentacle. That's kind of gross. I'll bet more people will flock here if such things were offered on the menu. Uh, Dave says, aren't we eating this because it's difficult to serve to customers, though? Uh, Cobra says, oh, you're right. What a pity. Everyone will want to try something that looks like this regardless of the flavor. Yeah. Uh, regardless of the flavor, you say? There's no way Boncho could stomach that. Let's go with something else. All right. About the depths. I've had a feeling there must be things down there, like sea people. Things that'll make people jump out of their seats. If Dr. Bacon's research is successful, this place will be famous and filled with people. Mm. Hmm, you're right. When that happens, we'll make tons of money. Okay, Cobra, calm down. So let's keep at it, Dave. Let's get rich together. <laughs> all right. All right, Cobra is all about making money. Let's talk to Dr. Bacon. Uh, Dr. Bacon? Oh, Dave, what is it? I saw the sea people down below. You what? <laughs> it's from D D uh, Dr. Bacon. You really saw sea people and not uh, dugongs? What did they look like? Were they dressed? Did they resemble humans? Mm. Um, their tos torsos looked like our own, but the uh, sight of me scared them off into the depths. I couldn't get a good look. That's too bad. It could have been an amazing find. <laughs> that means we might encounter them in the depths. That's where the signal is strongest. Perhaps there's even a village. A village? <laughs> yeah, they have artifacts, murals, a language. They are, they are beings with a unique civilization. All right, Doctor. Doctor Bacon's never seen any of these guys, and he knows everything. It would not be surprising in the, in the least for them to live together in a village of sorts. That would be quite the find indeed. An ancient civilization under the sea could be revealed to us. Dave, you're my best hope. Keep up the good work. All right, Dr. Uh, Bacon. All right, let's talk to Boncho. No, he wants to eat a uh, merman. Oh, God. No, we're not going to be hunting mer people. <laughs> uh, a giant squid tentacle. This is from Boncho. It really is an ingredient that's difficult to handle. Suppressing the stench should allow me to reach its essence. Uh, Dave says you're still studying the ingredients? Good work today, bringing back precious ingredients. This is a difficult sort to prepare, but it's a part of fun. That's part of the fun of cooking. So how does it taste? Uh, Dave says the food's always been great, but today it's even more spectacular. Uh, since there is a lot of it, I made many different dishes, though we won't be able to offer these to customers. There seems to be no end to the path of the chef. It's a fortunate thing to have a path to pursue. The same can be said of the study of ingredients. Dave, please keep persevering, and one day we'll succeed. Uh, Dave says, I'm not sure what you mean, but... Sure, I'll bring back more fish. All right. Uh, pick up a beer. Oh, let's pick up the beer. Uh, Heather says, all right, I have to go out to my kids for dinner. Have a great rest of the stream. Jace, Heather, thank you for hanging out. Guys, if you're not following Heather over on Twitch, you should be. I don't think, are you streaming tomorrow with Saz? I think you are, but I don't want to, I don't want to say you are if you're not. But definitely give her a follow over on Twitch. Is that Samuel L. Jackson playing Boncho? Dan? It could be. I hope it is. That'd be awesome. Let's, uh, let's open that. Let's get that beer going. Poof, that's good stuff. Boncho's food is so nice. I can understand the growing popularity of the restaurant. Or maybe it's because I caught the fish. Yeah, because we're catching the good fish. In any case, there's been a lot of stuff going on. A giant squid, sea people. There's no end to the mysteries of the ocean, even if it's dangerous. I suppose I'll go even deeper tomorrow. I wonder what I'll find. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll think about that tomorrow. Time to toast with everyone and rest. Yeah, we're partying it up with some squid and some beer. Love it. See you later, crocodile. Yep. Just came back from a stone fire pizza plate. Nice, awesome one. Oh. The, oh my god, does he have a grenade launcher? What the? 
the uh, the crazy guys on the boat. VIP visit, VIP visit today. I need to get that jellyfish. I need to get all that stuff today. Good morning. I must have drank too much yesterday. I feel sick. All right, Dr. Bacon. Yeah, Dr. Bacon's out here drunk. He's hung over. You did seem a bit excited. Ha, huh, I don't get I don't get gatherings like that every day. That sort of occasion calls for jovality. <laughs> okay. Oh, don't throw up. You can't throw up here, Dr. Bacon. Don't do it. Oof, I'm not the drinker I used to be. In any case, take the deep sea headlamp d uh, Duff gave you and try venturing down into the depths. It probably turn on automatically when you reach the right depth. And don't forget, you'll have to enhance your diving suit if you want to venture into the depths. Yep. I'll have to enhance my equipment first then. By the way, did you happen to have scuba? Oh, nope. Oh my God, he threw him off the side of the... Oh God. And then he leaves! Come on, Dr. Bacon. There's a big old pile of poop. He's asking me to enter the water after that. Yep, big old pile of vomit in the water. Great, thank you, man. <laughs> thank you, Dr. Bacon. Much appreciated on that. Don't forget to sell that pearl. I know I need to sell some stuff. Get some money going. Let's do some cooks. Uh, uh, some cooksta. More customers every day. I'll be rich. Yep. Uh, Boncho Sushi, bustling, yeah. Still doesn't greet customers, just prepares the food. Of course he does, but he's awesome. Here we go. We're getting close to our gold. We need some more followers, though. All right, so let's sell some pearls. Let's sell some stuff. Um, we have a pearl for 100. I'll take that. Uh, White Reef Shark Tooth. I don't know if we should sell that. Should we sell the clams or the uh, seashells? Lionfish spine. Probably debris from a wreck. Should I sell this stuff or should we keep it? Because I feel like I'm collecting all this wood, but nothing so far has needed lumber. Probably debris from a wreck. Use craft weapons. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's worth much. Have you used the camera yet? I have once. We've had one mission where we had to use the camera. Uh, what is this? A 1D6 character? Fish food. Ew! Yeah, the vomit. We have an oxygen capsule. There we go. Upgrade your stove? What? Can we upgrade a stove? Wait a minute. I don't think I can. Can we upgrade? We can't upgrade the stove. We can upgrade our air tank or our harpoon gun. We have more music. Oh, boss music. Okay. I wish it would play while we were, you know, we could turn it on and have like in the background. That would be cool. Uh, Streamlabs, uh, you keep spamming. I know, Streamlabs is crazy. All right. What we're going to do is, should we sell our blue shells? That's what we should, um, now we don't have them. I don't know. I, I'm torn. Should we sell the blue shells? Build an underwater hut. I wish. I wish. We need white spotted jellyfish and a seed grape. I don't even know where the seed grape is. We need to go get that stuff, though. So that's what we're going to do in the morning after we dive into this vomit in the water. Basically, they tell you what uh, to sell. Yeah, I did see that. But, I mean, there's some stuff that doesn't say it's used for anything, but it also doesn't tell you to sell it either. It just says, like, the wood. It just says it's from debris. It's like, well, what does that mean? What is going on here? Oh, we have another... What are you doing? Wait. Oh, this is John Watson. It's the crazy guy. So it was you, the one who's been harming the ocean. 
You even vomited, you disgusting green. It wasn't me, I didn't vomit. John, don't you blame that on me. Wait, that wasn't me. <laughs> that was Dr. Bacon, come on. I have no time for your petty excuses. Now that you've been caught by John Watson of Sea Blue, the guardians of the sea, you won't be leaving so easily. Oh, we got a little boss, bat go boss battle going on here. I'll turn you into fish food. All right, I guess we're gonna have to fight him. Oh, jeez, he has a grenade. Are you're destroying, what the, what? Oh, my Poseidon. This is all your fault. You did this to the precious sea. What? You just did that, John. <laughs> you're the one shooting bombs. <laughs> and all I do is catch a few fish to keep the restaurant running. Exactly. Dave knows what's going on. Why don't you look into fishing vessels responsible for catching thousands of fish, not individual divers like me? <laughs> John just has, he's speechless, nothing. Enough babbling, I'll shut your yapper, I'll shut that let yapper of yours. Here goes! Oh yeah, we're gonna have to fight him, I guess. Hand to hand. Oh, Watson, okay. I need to run away. How do I fight you? How do I fight you, buddy? Oh, he fights back, okay. So I definitely have to, uh... <laughs> How many bullets does it take to kill this guy? Oh, wait a minute! Oh my god, I'm gonna run out of oxygen pretty soon here. He should be dead. Come on! Is that it? Come on, be it. I, I don't have enough oxygen for this. How dare you fight back against me, John Watson, formerly of the Navy SEALs! How dare you fight back against me? All right. All right, John, what are you doing? What the heck? You just, why are you destroying the ocean, buddy? That should serve as an adequate warning. So I'll back away for now to protect the environment. He just destroyed the environment and he's protecting it, quote unquote. But I won't let you go unpunished. If you persist in damaging the ocean, we're watching you. All right, John, go do your thing. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> exactly. How dare you? Uh, Dave says a path has opened up in the direction of John Watson's escape. Let's go that way to reach the signal. Eh, not yet. Gotta get some oxygen there, John or uh, Dave. I should have bought a, an oxygen tank. I didn't know I was going to be battling John Watson, though. Not as good. Please give me an oxygen tank. Thank you. That's what I needed. Beautiful. I need some jellyfish. That's what I need. I guess, oh, we have to go down here. I feel like these are preset uh, locations. Like on day five, you'll always have the same location. On day 10, you'll always have the same location. Even though it's procedurally generated, it'll probably, it seems like it would be the same every time. Oh, maybe not the gun. go we got our good fish you can't catch me I'm super fast don't 
Grab that dang thing. Peanut butter crabs? Jason the Diver, do you have a fear of the open water? Oh no, I love, to a fault, I probably, to a fault, love the open water. When I was in, I lived in California, we would go out to the ocean and my mom always was making sure that I didn't decide to go out on my own <laughs> and go decide to explore the ocean because you get swept out real easy, especially when you're a little kid. So I love the water. I love swimming. I love all that kind of stuff. I'm a big water person. I love it. Let's see what we get out of here. Okay. <laughs> That's not really going to help me, but okay. <laughs> I like it. That's pretty good. Okay, we got a better uh, gun. Peanut butter crabs and jellyfish, just like mom used to make. Exactly, just like mom used to make. All right, all right, all right, all right. I get it, I get it, I know. A barracuda. I need some oxygen, you guys. I just saw something. What do we got over here? Oh! Please tell me there's some oxygen around here. I've got like 30 seconds. Please don't hit that. Okay, good. Oxygen over here? I have 20 seconds. Now I do have my charm that'll let me live a little bit after I run out of air. But we need to find some freaking oxygen. Like quick, fast, and in a hurry. Please, oxygen tank for the love of God. Or bombs, that's great too. Um, 17. Thank you, Jesus! Yes! God, that's freaking good feeling there. And we got an oxygen tank too. Oh, hey, we're good. Well, I need to get some of the uh, jellyfish. So because uh, this is early, we want to try to grab it. I think this is still morning. I'm going to try to get my uh, jellyfish early. I like how my little squeaky toy still breaks off the rocks. Amen. I know. Seriously. I cannot believe that worked. I did not do anything to that. I knocked out a fish and I grabbed it. I love it. Hush dart. Okay, we're going to get that. This is basically basically a tranquilizing dart. We need this for the uh, for the jellyfish. Get away from me. All right. You asked for it. Oh, 
Oh my god. This guy's hardcore. I got the uh, angler fish. Good lord. That was difficult. All right. Oh, and there's an oxygen tank right down there. I didn't see it because I was panicking earlier. All right, let's switch over to our trink dart. Is it not? No? Oh, I got it. Okay, good. Okay, so it takes a minute. Okay. So you trank it, but then it takes a minute for it to fall asleep. And then you can grab him. Oh, God. Don't do it too early, though. Don't need that. Let's go down in here. Uh, guys, I'm liking this. We are set up. We are ready to go. Now, what if I trank it? Or what if I harpoon it? I know they told me not to. Oh, you can't. Oh, wait a minute. I just knocked him out. Oh, look at that. Because my harpoon is a shocking harpoon, I just knocked him out with it. Well, I'll take that. Well, let's go down in here. Whoa, that's a green. No, oh, no, no, no. There we go. Long distance one, huh? So I'm guessing it just lasts longer. No! Oh my god. You almost murdered me on those spikes. Was there anything in there? Oh, I guess that was oxygen. Okay. So those blue shells give you oxygen. Okay. I like that. So I can look for those blue shells as well. I need to get more ammo for my, uh, my dart. Oh, don't need that freaking shark over there. Now that I ha I already had my emergency, I I'm finding oxygen everywhere, huh? Oh, for the love of God, don't kill me. Knock him out! Knock him out! Oh, she he does not knock out, huh? I hit him twice. That's three times. Oh no! Yeah. Okay, shark does not get knocked out. I shot him with three darts. It, uh, is it working? Please tell me. He still has the three dots on him. I don't know if it's working on him or not. He's getting slower. That is... Okay, I'll, I guess I'll take that. Wait a minute. Tranquilizer Harpoon, we'll take that. Because I can shoot him, maybe it'll it'll trank him. Go, go, go. Did not do a dang thing to him. Okay. He has to be on my left or my right. You can't aim downwards. I wonder why. You can't aim down or up. You can only go left or right. All right, I don't want to. I don't want to tempt fate too long, so we will just we will take our our spoils and go. Well, 
Wow. Can I not, not? Oh my god, I can't pick him up? You can't pick him up, huh? Alright, you have to- Oh my god, there's another shark! Are you freaking serious? Get out of here. I just want to leave. I just want to leave! Alright, let's see if I have time. Screw you, shark! Screw you! <laughs> Mike! Thank you for hanging out, Mike. Uh, he says, gotta go up. You gotta get up in less than five hours. Dude. <laughs> well, thank you for hanging out as long as you did, dude. Seriously, that's a little much. You definitely gotta go to sleep. Get some really fast sleep. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of meats. Oh, we got a lot of uh, white spotted uh, jellyfish. There we go. And I think that was the morning, so we have the afternoon. We're good to go. Yowie! Uh, Dave says, you seem energetic today for Sato, the uh, Pokemon guy. I saw a boss card acquisition notification pop up on your marine card account. It's this giant squid boss card. Oh, I got the, I got a, a holographic. Yeah! How did you get this? It's such a rare card. I like how he has a gold chain. Look at that chain he has. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I was just on my way to pick up a delivery, and as chance would have it, uh, Sato says, okay, I don't have a clue what that means, but in any case, you've made amazing progress. Try collecting all the rare boss cards. Something good's sure to happen. Oh, and if you venture into new regions, for example, the depths, the automatic marine card AI system will unlock a new card pack. Don't forget to collect fish cards on the new regions as well. Choo -choo. Goodbye, then. Choo-choo. <laughs> okay. Humphead is too big to pick up. I know. I was hoping I could. Yeah, but you can't stun them and pick them up. You have to like, cut them up. Entering a new region will open up a new card pack list. Use the marine card app to check on new fish. Okay. Well, let's see what we got in here. Wait, 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 actually, let's see what we can upgrade here. Weapon. We have a hush dart. We have the dart gun now. Let's see if we can upgrade anything. Our air tanks, maybe, or a harpoon gun. Maybe the harpoon gun would be a good idea. Just so we can, we can grab stuff easier. Oh, research marine plants. There we go. Then we also have uh, marine plants again. Got my kelp. Seashells. We're getting close. Now, when I do that, does it t remove those items from my inventory? Let's check. Yeah, I think it does. So when it says it needs five, it removes five from you. Because now I only have three brown shells. Okay. I have a silver bowl and I have a giant squid tooth. Well, let's go down here. Let's upgrade our harpoon gun. That way we can get some more stuff here. Let's shop. And... One time use. Let's do it. We're going to increase our tanks by 10%. Harpoon is a good choice. Yeah, that way we can grab fish faster. So we have everything we need. We've already picked up everything we need. So now we're just going down to get more food for our uh, night tonight. That way, hopefully, we'll have enough ingredients to make some really good uh, sushi tonight. Let's get down here. And we have a lot of room in our inventory, so we can grab a lot of stuff. Like some soy sauce. Love it. 
Shock harpoon. I want the uh, the stun harpoon. That one worked out really well. Uh, make sure to level up the other uh, server NPC. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Yes, I have to do that. I think it costs 250 for them. So yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Oh yeah, we have to go down and check out that new signal too. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, we can do that as well. I like upgrading that harpoon. It just helped out a ton. All right, what about grabbing this guy? Got to cut him up while we're doing this. Grab some good stuff in here, hopefully. I guess I'll take a bat. It's more powerful than my, uh, than my knife for now. I wonder. Nope, can't do anything with the, that urchin. Yep, 150, I believe. Is it 150? I thought it was two. Either way, I'm going to try to get to 250 just in case. But if it's 150, that's even better because then it's cheaper than I thought. Oh, God, what am I going to do here? Oh, it just bounced off that. Okay, I guess we are going to be doing it with the gun. Get away from me. Got you, buddy. Yeah, I guess you can't just uh, stun him or whatever with a harpoon. You have to shoot the uh, sharks. Oh, God. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I forgot. I forgot. I had the gun out. I wanted to get you with the harpoon. My bad. I forgot. Uh, 150, maybe. I mean, we do have, I think we're ready to go. I mean, we have shark now, so we're good on shark meat. Oh my God, I've almost freaked out there. I forgot what I had to do for a second. Um, hush dart level two. Sure. Maybe we can, uh, oh, wait a minute. Limestone cave. Oh, yeah, we need to get down in here. Continue to follow the signal. No! Oh, get away from that. Give me some oxygen. Beautiful. Really? Got you, buddy. All right. Go down in here. Check to make sure you're alive. Shark, you only wanted to kiss you. Yeah, he wanted to give me a really, really strong kiss. <laughs> I don't agree with it though. I don't want to. I don't want strong kisses from a shark. Not my kind of. My, not my jam on that. All right. Yep. This. These jellyfish. They'll sting you if you touch them. So that's, well, no, I'm good. I don't need to touch any of those. Give me those bones. Beautiful. 
Give me some more of these grapes. Let's see what we got here. Hush dart. There's a big old shark over there. All right, let's see. Oh, Jesus. That's not my gun. Not the little fish. Shoot the shark, you idiot. Some more ammo over here. Get out of the way. I have a shark after me, buddy. <sighs> Can I get the shark, do you think? Oh, we're about to find out. <laughs> I have an emergency. Oh, Jesus. I have an emergency escape over there. I can't swim that fast because I'm so... I'm over the way. Oh, Jesus. I'm swimming just fast enough to get out of the way, but not... Oh, my God. Yeah, go away, shark. Go away, shark. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. I'm taking that. I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go. <laughs> Evening, Jason. Hey, Pablo. Hello. Uh, Cash Money says it wants to give you a big old smooch. Dude, that one wants to give me a major smooch. <laughs> oh. We have our net gun. We got the blueprint for that. We got a lot of shark bait. White tip reef shark. We got that one. Yeah, we got tons of meat now for tonight. Yeah, look at that. We got a whole bunch of stuff. And we have a white tip shark head. Beautiful. Mm. Wrap up your day and get things ready. Yep, let's go. So we can't do anything here. Wait, but do we need to call anybody? Um, I don't think so, but we have our weapon here. We have 250. We have 250. Oh yeah, can we sell anything to him? Oh, we can't even access the shop to sell? Oh, come on. All right. Well, we can't sell anything at, in the evening. Hello, viewers. This is you from Star the Chef. Now we're back at Boncho Sushi. What kind of sushi will the chef have prepared, I wonder? I have prepared jellyfish sushi. Jellyfish? You mean like the Chinese cold vegetables? Oh. Did you think that you could win the acknowledgement of Vincent <laughs> Yamioke while ignoring the traditional ingredients? No way. <laughs> you call yourself a gourmet? Will you judge before you've even tasted it? Hmm. All right, bring it over then. <laughs> All right, I'll bring you one serving of jellyfish sushi. Here it comes. Oh, he's ready to go. Look at the- I love these cool animes. Oh, I have to bring it. Sorry, excuse me. Wow. So this is jellyfish? The flesh is transparent. The white dots are pretty as well. What? You made it with bunched rice? You should have made sure it doesn't scatter by making gunkin maki instead. <laughs> It'll dry up. Hurry up and eat. It's already been seasoned. <laughs> I know it can't possibly taste good, but since it's for the program, I'll try it. Oh, let's see what Vincent does. Oh, 
freaking out. Vincent, the look on your face. This is amazing. I can taste the sea as soon as I bit into it. And the jellyfish is nice and firm. And I taste something popping inside. Could it be flying fish roe? Wait, they're bigger than that. Caviar? No. That would have killed the jellyfish flavor. Could it be? Yes. I added some sea grape below the jellyfish. Firm jellyfish flesh and sea grape. Huh. This is the sea. I taste the sea. The sea where the sea kelp sway. Hmm. I can't help but admit it. The sushi is amazing based on a very deep understanding of the ingredients. But why is it that you use such unknown ingredients instead of the proven ones? Ah, uh, Boncho says the first reason is the taste. Jellyfish has a gentle, mild taste with a strong texture, making it perfect, making it a perfect match for the scent and flavor of the sea grape. The second reason is the potential. There are so many kinds of ingredients out there. Insisting on using only the verified few is the same as ignoring the infinite possibilities. Uh, you says, thank you for those amazing words, Boncho. Now then, it's time for the evaluation, Vincent. All right, let's get into the evaluation. Now, this is the jellyfish sushi that made Vincent marvel and Mr. Boncho who created the dish. What will the score be? I'll give Boncho sushi 80 points. Huh, isn't that too low? You looked quite impressed while eating. Listen, the sushi was excellent. This establishment lacks something though. <laughs> eating combines many enjoyments to think you'd only offer green tea with this beautiful ocean in front of us. Romance, this place doesn't have enough romance and appreciation for the arts. That's why I'll give this place 80 points. As a side reward, however, I'll give you a refrigerator. Being able to drink cold beer from that fridge, beer, would make the score 100. It'd be perfect. Wow, as expected of you, Vincent, that was an excellent opinion. Now, how did you like Star the Chef today? We'll be looking forward to the Boncho Sushi exotic sushi being served with beer. Uh, see you again next time. This was the reporter, you. There we go. We got a thousand gold. We have 50 likes. There we go. We have a new content. We have beer now. Customers will now sometimes order beer after their meal. Pour them their drinks and create additional revenue. Yes, get them drunk. That way they pay more. I love it. Wow, Boncho. Amazing. That picky Vincent acknowledged you. The tongue does not lie. <laughs> Vincent has a point. Shall we sell? Tr uh, sa shall we try selling beer from now on? Yep, we have to. We have to put that on the menu. Let's go to our staff, though. Let's uh, let's help out with the uh, dining area. Let's train her. Train her up. Yeah. And it was 150. You were right. Let's see if we can train up our guy over here. Can we train him? Yep, 215. We can train him up. Yes. Cleaning up the messy seed. Haven't learned the skill yet. We'll train him up. And we can we train her up again? We can. So she'll be even better at serving. She'll do drink serving too. Oh, perfect. That way I don't have to do all the drinks. She can do drinks as well. Perfect. So we, we are good to go. Let's, uh, we can't really hire anybody else. I mean, can we, can we grab them and then just wait for our, uh, our new spot to open? Ah, we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. Jason, hope you got your liquor license for that beer you said. Dude, Froggy, don't even worry about it. Don't, don't ask, don't tell. That's what we're doing. I'm going to be selling some beer. We won't worry about it till the authorities come in and maybe our beer will be good enough to where they kind of ignore what we're doing. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to learn new recipes. Nope, we have them all. We have all of our new... Okay, we have all this stuff. We're good. All right. Well, now we sell beer for 30 bucks. Holy cow. Whoa! 
Sea grape jellyfish sushi sells for 225. Um, can we, uh, let's, uh, put one on there. We're going to do auto supply and then we're going to enhance it. Um, yeah, let's enhance it. Oh yes. Comes out of the darkness. Yeah, level two, that's going good. We can add ingredients. I don't know, we're gonna worry about, it. not worried about that. We're gonna add some uh, whole roasted shark head and we're gonna make sure to auto supply that. Auto supplying everything that way we don't overdo it. There we go. Oh, we have another one. We can. There we go. I think we're good. <sighs> a license. I thought this was America. <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> that's why it's America. <laughs> all right. We're about to have a really good night, you guys. We upgraded all of our uh, servers, our chefs. We're serving beer. We have really high priced sushi. We're good. Let's go. More servers quick. <laughs> gotta get down there, gotta get down there quick. Come on, Dave! Work on your cardio! Got it, got it. Man, we are doing good. Got it going. She is running circles around me. Man, I am way out of the way. I am way out of le out of everything. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, dang it. Look at that, she beat me. Holy cow. Oh, we're out. Oh no, we're out of, oh God. Well, we lost one customer because we ran out. I apologize. We ran out. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be mad. Wasabi. Any desserts? Uh, Jason, wasabi is out. I know. I need to get some wasabi. Uh, look at that. That was like our best day so far, but we did lose a couple of points. 0.4 for running out. Oh, my God. One point away from being gold star. Or uh, gold rank, excuse me, gold rank. You can refill wasabi. Can you? Wait a minute, can you? 
I didn't know that. What? How do you refill the wasabi? How do you refill? Oh god, I didn't know that. This place impressed even Vincent. A pick to remember. Thousand likes on it. Good. We are one point away from our followers. Man. You gotta do it yourself. Rub it. That's what she said. No. <laughs> I don't want to rub it. Um, we are ready to go for... Oh my god. What do we do next, you guys? What is the most important thing to upgrade? Maybe the cargo box or the diving... No, no, no. Probably the oxygen, right? Oxygen because then we can be down for longer. Oh god. During the serving, rub it. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> cargo? Yeah, cargo seems like that's the really important part. We'll do that for now. Oh yeah. Need to also see if we can sell anything. So probably debris from a wreck. It doesn't say see that's the question. It doesn't tell me I need it for anything. Like it doesn't say you can craft anything with it, but it also doesn't say I should sell it either. So should I keep that? Like this. Copper ore used to craft weapons. Okay, I'm going to keep that because it's used to make weapons. But there's stuff that's like, okay, what do I do? Do I sell that? I know I can sell this silver bowl that tells you to sell it. Or like the uh, lionfish spine. Do I sell that? It doesn't say that. It doesn't say to keep it or sell it. It just says, there you go. What do I do? We'll keep an oxygen just because I want to make sure I have that. Let's check in here. We have our charms. We have our, our gun. Ugh. Let's see what else can we do. Oh, we have our, uh, our cards here. Yeah, we have a uh, holographic. We have a uh, white spotted jellyfish. Nice. Got our boss card. Oh, yeah, what do we add on our uh, Echo Watch? Oh, wait, but we have that. We have that, that, that. All right. Well, guys, I will have to call it here. We've been streaming for like almost six hours today. This game is so worth it. Guys, seriously, if you're thinking about picking it up, it's on Steam right now. You can play it right now if you want to. Seriously, I would say do it. 100% do it. And uh, looks like we are going to... Let's raid. Um, Who do we have to raid? Are we... You know what? We're going to raid Criss Cross. Criss Cross is playing some Diablo 4 right now. He's doing a rogue run. You guys, seriously, go over there. Hit the like button. Kind of chill out a little bit. He likes to do... Uh, really cool chilled out streams so we're gonna raid crisscross hopefully you guys like the uh, stream today if you did hit that like button before you go and i will see you guys over at crisscross's stream you guys are freaking awesome thank you so much for hanging out today and i'll see you guys next time